Hey everybody. Bet Red Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. Laura, how are you feeling over there? I'm good. <laughs> I'm glad it's Friday. Me too. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. We've got several people already. Yay. Blind by Beauty is here. Carrie, hello. Charlotte is here. Pickled Tink. Tigers, Listen. Timeless Treasures. Charlotte, what a trooper. <laughs> I saw you trying to coax someone into stay, helping, you were going to help them stay up. Yeah. Right? And I just said, because, I mean, wow, what time is it for you? It's like three in the morning. <laughs> Carrie, Frenchy Mom, Gabrielle, D. Fuller, Free Range Adulting, Sandy Otto, Peterson. Hey, welcome. We've got lots of people here in the house. The chat. Oh, I try to do that at the beginning and then the chat just starts rolling so fast that it's like impossible to keep up. Everybody knows that you are on time. So they are here at nine o'clock. Laura. They start piling in at nine o'clock. Laura's like, you can be a couple <laughs> minutes late, Ray, because I'm like on it. I'm like, y'all, it's 20, it's 20 seconds, 15 <laughs> seconds to go. And Laura's like, Mary Beth, you can, you can be a couple minutes late. I'm like, no, I can't. I can't. Here's the problem. It's my... Biggest fault. <laughs> so if you, unless you stay that way, it's going to get later and later every night that we do this. Yeah. Because if you tell me, if you give me two minutes leeway, it's, I'll take six or seven. And I don't know why. I hate that about myself. I like to be punctual. Yeah. Unless I'm going to work. <laughs> Annabella. Oh, oh, sorry. We both did it at the same time. I just saw a new one. I saw a new one too. I said, Annabella Treasure Finds, just subscribe because of Real Nifty Vintage. He is so good to us. Jeffrey is so good to us, and we appreciate him so much. And I just saw Marty Hertford. Awesome. That, so we were both going to say that at the same time. Awesome. <laughs> welcome. We love our new people. So, yeah, make sure if you're new to let us know. We love to welcome our new people, especially first-timers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tatum's Farm Scene and Vintage Shop just left Jeffrey's. Mm. So thanks for coming and checking us out. If you just hang with us, we say hello to everybody. We kind of have a little warm up and then we have a Fat Bird 5 where we sell five items. So just hang in there. Yeah. Here in about, I don't know, 12 minutes, we're going to start selling a few items. Tiger, I love you. Being late to me is like being on time. <laughs> you know, last week our question was, what are, are you supposed to be late? I mean, what time are you supposed to get to a dinner party? Apparently, you're supposed to be late. a little bit late. A little bit. I'm on time. If you tell me, though. Oh, somebody got their shirt. Oh, oh good. Wait. Pam Avery, first timer from Jeffrey. Welcome. Hi, Pam. We love it. Oh, my gosh. Little Treasures by Nancy. I know. We're so close. We're really close. We're so close to 3,000 subscribers. I think we lack about 50 or so. Yes. About 50 subscribers, 50 we, to 60. We had a week without a video and then a week with a short video. Right. Next to each other. And so we kind of have been, We you know, plateaued a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, we're super excited to hit that 3,000. When we get to 3,000, we're going to give it, do a giveaway. Yeah. It's so gonna, it's going to feel so good. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that because we're going to do a giveaway when we hit 3,000. Angel you, MD is also new. What do you guys think? I think we should do another paint by number for like 5,000. 5,000. Oh, it's going to take that long <laughs> to do another paint by number. I know. we got to start now. I know. If we're going to do that again. In case you guys missed out, that was quite the saga. Wow. The paint by number saga. We did that for a giveaway for 1,000, and that was a lot. If anybody has any ideas of theme, the first one was dinosaurs. It's got to be something easier. I have I have an easier one, that, and it's kittens. Everybody likes cats. True. That's kind of your old standby, though. Paid by number is cat or a horse. Right? Welcome, Angel MD. Yay. Hello. Hey, Day Trip Vintage. What did she say? I'm at the Thrifty Antiquer is new first time. Chad Shop Retro Days is new first time. Oh, welcome. That's awesome. New refer by Jeffrey. Welcome, Melinda. Jeffrey. Yay. So sweet. Yay, yay. We were popping in and out of Jeffrey's cell, and he was on fire tonight, wasn't he? He was in rare form. He, he was, was hilarious. Like singing and dancing and voices. <laughs> it was great. It, it was awesome. Somebody, somebody, somebody saw it. What? It was Jamie. I was hoping. Oh, Jamie. I was hoping somebody would see it. Yeah, we can't just, we couldn't just say it, right? We gotta right. have somebody notice. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's, this will be our warm up this story. Is, this is our warm up story. When we get done with this story, we'll start in with our fat bird five. Okay. So the vase, the green one. So this past week we did an online auction and Laura was at work the day that the bidding ended. And so I was here bidding on stuff as it was ending. You were in charge. I was, I was in charge. I told Laura, I was like, you probably don't want me to be in charge because first of all, I'll probably mess something up. Secondly, I'll probably spend too much. I was in charge anyway. So <laughs> this vase was in a picture next to a big mirror. Okay. And all it, all the description was, was mirror and tall vase. That was all, that was all the description. And I was like, I don't want that vase if it's short, but it says tall. They wouldn't say tall if it was just little, surely. Right. You've decided to switch out your short ones for tall ones. Right. So that the blue one there and the amber one, I'm going to sell those as soon as I find tall blue and amber ones. So I want one of every color. So the short ones are going to go away as soon as I find big ones. Anyway. Inspired by uh, mid-century wasted pretty little yes. rainbow of yes. swung vases. Exactly. So I was like, I really want the tall green one, but I, I hate to spend too much. Anyway, I went for it. I, I bit the bullet. I bit on it. And I got it. <laughs> Jamie, what are you saying? I love when they don't describe them well. What does that mean? Oh, at the in the auction. Yes, me too. Me too, me too. Look <gasps> how awesome, guys. I wish, like, what in the world, Mary Beth, were we thinking? I think we were in a hurry and it was raining. Why didn't we not have the camera going when we went in to see whether because or not it, that was big? It was raining and it was just a lot. But I was so stoked, guys. I walked <gasps> into that place and I saw it up there on the shelf and I was just like, <gasps> it's better than I expected. <laughs> I know. I was, I had been telling her, I was like, you know, I've been to that warehouse before and I think the shelves are like this big and that's pretty close to the top of the shelf. And she's like, stop, don't say it. I, I don't say it. I'm going to be disappointed if it's not. <laughs> so I got that vase and a really large mirror that's like gold on the outside that we're going to take to Layman's. Right. Right. So we're going to trade mom um, some stuff that she's got in her mystery boxes. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute though. But anyway, <laughs> keep up with us in the coming weeks because we're going to probably make at least three, maybe four videos out of all this auction stuff that we got. We have a bedroom full of stuff. We've got so much content for videos. Yes. It's so exciting. Yeah. So we'll just take it like lots at a time and, and break it down. Into we've got all that of ours and we've got moms. Yeah. Yeah. We've got mystery boxes at Layman's. <laughs> so we're going to break it down into uh, some smaller videos. We, I think the stuff that we got at this past auction is some of the cutest, best stuff we've ever gotten. Yeah. Mary Beth's real nervous though, because we spent a lot of money. We're going to have, a, we're going to have to have a proper sale as she calls it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to have a proper live sale here pretty soon. <laughs> anyway, we're going to show you another sneak peek of some stuff later after the Fat Bird 5 of a couple more things that we got at the auction. So. Yes. Now, let me just say really quick, free range adulting, no PO box. I'm sorry. It's my bad. So if you will just, if you'll just email me, email us at fatbird, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. I'm happy to give you a shipping address. Mm -hmm. um, I've done it for a couple people. So I'm happy to do that. I just don't have the PO box yet. Jamie, we're going to. But guess what? What? I made friends with the postal lady today you at did? our post office. Her name is Charlotte. The nice one? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, not the super nice one. The medium nice one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The the medium nice the one. The medium nice one that's blonde. Yeah. Yeah. She's fine. Okay. <laughs> She's fine, but just not like over the top. Nice. Yes. There's the mean lady. And I just. The help. medium nice lady yeah. and the really nice lady. Yeah. So. I, I tried not to say what, who is the really nice lady. The young one. No, no, no. I mean, I tried not to ask her that because, like, this is how the conversation went. I went in there and put the boxes down. And I said, I said, uh, you know, she was way down at the other end. And I said, hi. And she said, hi. I said, I got my postage on these already. I'm just going to put them down. She goes, okay, that's great. And I said, um, 
you know what? I said, I would love, I, I'm in here all the time. I would just love to call you by your first name. What is your first, what is your name? And she goes, oh, I, I'm Charlotte. And she came over and I was like, oh, Charlotte. Oh, I know plenty of Charlottes. I'll remember that. She, she, she goes, yeah, like Charlotte's Web. And I said, yeah, that's great. And I said, no, what's the other lady's name? And she said, um, Trina. And I almost said, you know, the really nice one. <laughs> you could have said, or the really mean one. Well, yeah, no, I don't want to know her name. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to know her name. That's great. Charlotte. Now I'll remember that. Charlotte and Trina. Corey, you actually won an item on Jeffrey's sale tonight. Congratulations. Corey. Nice. And nice. thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah. It <laughs> sounded like you were about to say something <laughs> it else. It did, didn't it? You just stopped. Know, a little off, yeah. Jamie is bribing us. We're going to have to make it up over there. I'm ready. Oh, we're going to do it. Yeah. And Miss Pamela. Hey, Pamela. I just see Pamela. She calls us baby one and baby two. I'm ready to head south. I'm baby one. Oh. Just so you know, I claimed it. <laughs> Great. And she's going to come to the the big yard sale. We've got two in Kentucky. That's why I hesitate. I don't know which one is which, but she's coming to the one in August. I'm ready, yeah. Pamela. Let's do it. I'm so ready to meet you. It's going to be awesome. Charlotte's are never mean, just feisty. Yeah, Charlotte. Yay, yeah, she's Jeffrey. Nice. Jeffrey, yeah, Jeffrey's awesome. He's so good to us. We need, hey, we need to make a road trip up to his area. <laughs> Michelle, what about me? What do you have in here? We are, we have to go to Michelle's first. I'm ready. And plus, on top of the fact that we just have to go see Michelle, she has the best Goodwills ever. Mm. Well, almost. I mean, I guess those Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania ones have to be the best ever. Yeah. True. With, I mean, she, they have Jocelyn and I didn't curse. It just sounded like it. <laughs> You're kind of wound up tonight. <laughs> That's true. Maybe I'll quit talking. Maybe Jeffrey rubbed off on you and you're like wound up too. Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe you should take a deep breath. Okay. Do it. <sighs> Do you feel better? Yes. Good. Somebody said I'm in PA. Oh, but cool. Yeah, Pennsylvania has... Like, I see videos, like two or three videos from different YouTubers in the same Goodwill. So they're like all shopping on top of each other and still finding all this awesome stuff. Nice. Can you imagine? No. Can you imagine having two or three people in Paducah doing, doing Goodwill videos? There would be nothing. No. Um, Katie said, I can't wait to meet up with everybody too. Katie, we're talking about a possible Florida trip this summer. Mm -hmm. Just do a whole nationwide road trip. <laughs> so, well, that's on my agenda. I think Florida is going to be in my future this summer. Nikki was just saying the other day, she's like, I swear if I don't go on a vacation soon, I'm going to like croak. So it's, it's, it's a possibility. <laughs> we'll have to let you know. <laughs> exactly. Cause you know, we're planning the corporate picnic. A.T. Christie just said we need to start planning for 20, 20- 22. And I think that's doable. I think so. I think we should. I think we should start that. I'll volunteer to be on the committee. Oh, committee. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. All right. So we're one minute away from the Fat Bird Five. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the rules. If you guys don't mind. Have you been to Florida during summer? Yes. We, we, we make it down there every couple years, every three years or so. Yeah. Typically. Typically for us. It's a big Kentucky thing to do. It is. Everybody in Kentucky goes to Florida. Yeah. Or Myrtle Beach. Yeah. That's the thing. Those, yeah. those are the two two hot spots. Anyway. Okay. All right. So we're going to get into the Fat Bird 5 rules. So if you've attended any of other live sales, this is very uh, typical to those. We are going to have five items tonight. Every item is going to have a price and an item number. We do not do offer up, so it's just a standard price. If you are the first person to type in the number, the item number of the item, you will win the opportunity to purchase the item. If you are the person uh, to win the opportunity to purchase the item, we need three pieces of information from you. We do not require that you pre-register from us, but if you are a winner, we ask that you send the following information to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We need your name and your YouTube name, because sometimes those are not the same. We need your mailing address, and we need your PayPal email address. And again, we need all three of those pieces of information to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. So just a couple of tips. 
Um, if you want to refresh, if you feel like you might be a little bit behind or if you feel like you might be buffering, refresh now. So refresh now. Make sure that you are in live chat and not top chat. That will help you out. Also, when you put in the item number into the chat, you will almost always appear first in the chat. That does not necessarily mean that you are first. We take how it comes through on our end. We are streaming through StreamYard and we do go to uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Periscope all simultaneously. So we get all of those chats in at real time on our end. So if somebody from YouTube is first, we'll see that first on our end. Um, Facebook and Periscope, you guys won't see that, right? You guys don't see each other's chats. Also keep into consideration our, price, um, our prices on our items do not include shipping. So based on where you are, um, we will invoice you for shipping plus the price of the item and we typically do invoices on Sundays. We are practically in the middle of the United States in Kentucky. We are in the Midwest. So um, uh, the most expensive shipping that I can think of is West Coast, California shipping. Oregon, um, Washington. Yep. Texas shipping is a little high, higher. And um, Maine. Yes, Maine. New York's not terrible but when you get up to Maine it's kind of high and then of course if you're abroad that will be a little bit more <laughs> okay that's all I've got did I did I cover everything you just do a bang up job of that just let me say a bang up job yeah. Laura isn't yeah. that nice yeah I I tried to do that one night when you were otherwise occupied and I did not do a very good job all right <laughs> all right so let's get into the fat bird five okay <laughs> So I've got my trusty helper, Nikki, here behind me. Let's just start over there on that end. It's a kitschy cat. It. I live in Maine. Yes. Several people live in Maine. I mean, it's not, the shipping's not. It's not horrible. It's but, not international you know, shipping, but it's pretty far from Living us. in Western Kentucky, it is very central to most places. It's just those outliers that are just a little bit more. Okay. All right, guys. So our first item of the night is one of these really collectible tin bowls. And this is DAR, D-A-H-E-R, made in England. I love this one because it's so pretty and it's in such good shape and I love the colors. It's got like a little scene in there, a little boat, lots of flowers. But the front of it is in very good shape. There are a couple of um, scratches on the back. And then there is one little scratch along here, but it's hard, it's hard to see. So, I mean, when you're just looking at it, it's, it's really hard to see, but there is a little scratch here. I don't remember those have being dated very often, but I guess that maybe they are, but that one's really obvious. That one's 1971. 1971 is the date on this one, if you guys can see that. I don't know if I'm focusing. Awesome. I love that one. All right. Okay, so that one is $16. $16. And it's number 24. Number 24. Love it. Yeah, that's. I didn't do the numbers ahead of time, Mary Beth. Oh. That was probably my fault. That was probably my job. Okay, I've got Corey La... I don't know how to pronounce Corey's last name. Do you? La Plante. That's not right. La Plante. La Plante. <laughs> Corey. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Anyway, Corey. Corey was a new person. You got it. Yay. Congratulations, Corey, and thank you so much. Hi, Mom. I see everybody saying hi. Spotlights. Did somebody say that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys, keeping oh, me on my toes. That's right. I wait, didn't even notice. wait for it. Boom. There they are. <laughs> Yay. Sorry about that. I should have turned to like, like I'm looking at the spotlight this way. I totally ruined that, right? Yes. Okay, will you hand me something else? Have you kept that planter? Which way do I look like to be in the spotlight like that? Yeah. <laughs> I can't see. I can't turn that way and see. <laughs> okay. Next up, I've got this. It's kind of like a double planter, right? Or double vase. Oh, that's pretty, Mary Beth. This has major Hager vibes for me. It is unmarked, though, however. 
It has like a number mark in it. It's hard to see though. I probably can't make that come through on the camera, but it's like just a little uh, number indentation right there. Unmarked, but it does give me Hager vibes. There is a little bit of crazing on this piece. No chips or cracks though. It's in really good shape. It's just a nice, simple little planter slash vase. I can see that looking really nice with your Easter displays. Laura, do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, no, but I, did you say something about the crazing? I'm sorry, I was doing my numbers. Yeah, there is, I said there is some crazing, but no chips or cracks. Yeah, but yeah, I, I love it. I love it because it's that neutral color. So it's really pretty. It's not like a bright white, but it's that pretty old antique white. Right. And it'll go with anything. It'll just go in any kind of display. Yes, agree. Calla Lily, somebody said, very pretty. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, so it's only $12. $12. It's a bargain. That's a bargain. It's $12, and it's number 48. Number 48. Also, Hi, Kelly. Also, we're drinking Chardonnay. We are drinking Chardonnay tonight. We didn't say that at the beginning, did we? No, nope. we didn't. Do talk you want to cheers tonight. with me? Yes. Just I'm leave me hanging. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, the first person on my end, guys, that came through, Calypso Antiques. Calypso Antiques. Thanks, Calypso Antiques. Oh, I. I was gonna say their first name, mm. and oh. I just can't get it. I thought it was just going to roll right off my tongue. It, it didn't, though, did it? <laughs> I'm sorry, Calypso Antiques, but thank you so much. Okay, Nikki, I'm going to let you go to that little guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, this was in our video. This was in our video this week. It's a sweet, sweet little deer looking at his tail, <laughs> looking behind him kind of, right? Oh, I'm, I'm reading the chat again. There we go. Jamie's going to yard sales in the morning. I'm jealous. We don't really have them here. Yet. Have what here? Yard sales. Oh, we have. A, there's a couple. I, I saw some on Facebook Marketplace. Couple tomorrow. Yeah. So this guy is like uh, painted with gold. He's got little gold in his eyes, his eyelashes, and his spots. Look his how hooks. sweet. I know. He's unmarked as well. He might be a girl. She's unmarked <laughs> as well. <laughs> She's checking her butt out. She's checking out her tail. <laughs> Very she's sweet. She's showing off. There's a little um, residue right there. That I think that that's just like sticky residue. That's that's coming off with my fingernail. So <laughs> that's just sticky residue from a price tag. Okay, and she's just sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars. Another bargain. Sixteen dollars, and she's number thirty. Number thirty. Jamie, there's hundreds and that hundreds of thousands here every day of yard sales. Yeah. I bet I'm jealous of you. You know, in so many ways, it's <laughs> just now getting nice enough here to do things. It's been really rainy. It was cold, and then it was super rainy, and now it's like incredibly windy. It's just like it'll knock you over. Uh huh. So if we had a yard sale out there right now, all of our stuff would just blow away. I was just yelling at people all day. I was like, not yelling. I was being nice, but I was like. Please put your money under the bar. The wind is going to blow it across the parking lot. I said that a million times today. A million times? Yes. Okay, that one was really popular, so don't be mad. Guys, <laughs> again, you're going to appear first in your chat. That doesn't necessarily mean that you are. But the first person that I have <laughs> is our BFF. Michelle. It's Michelle. Man, you got some killer internet, Michelle. Look I don't care internet. what anybody says. You are on it. Good job, Michelle. That's who I had first on my end. Michelle, how are you doing? Are you on the knee machine as we speak? <laughs> you better be exercising your knee while you're shopping. Yay, Michelle. So this is one of my favorite things of the night. Oh my gosh, Nikki. Sorry. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things. One of. One of. I, I know that other thing is the blue thing is good too. Yeah. I love this. We sold a, a carnival bowl last week that I really loved. Mm -hmm. And this, this isn't exactly carnival. Is it? No, it's the same. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. 
when I say carnival, I think of the iridescent, you know, like you turn it and it's different colors. Well, you've got it all up in here, though. Okay. So, but, I mean, it's the same. It's made by Northwood and it's the same pattern. Okay. So, this is a Northwood uh, opalescent bowl. So, the bottom, it's, it's, it's almost got like a yellowish, greenish tint to it. It's probably not coming through. But, and then this opalescent up here is just gorgeous. And it's that wild rose pattern again. Just like the last, last week's was green. I mean, last time was green. Yeah. But see, like, I can, I don't know if it's coming through, but I can see all that pretty carnival opalescent looking shimmer underneath there when you're doing that in the light. Right. It's just, it's hard to, to make all that come through in camera. The camera's not doing it justice. I don't know if it glows. It does not. I've tested it several times. It, it does not glow. I'm just laughing because I always say, are you sure you tested that? Are you sure it doesn't glow? And she's like, yes. I think I've tested this about 40 times. <laughs> it's got those shell feet. Yeah, the shell feet. There's a few little scratches. I mean, that's that's like a... Yeah, it's not you know, it's not perfect on the inside. There's a scratch right here in it. So somebody has obviously stored some stuff in it, but it's just gorgeous. You're but, gonna have to turn that. You're gonna have to take the camera and tilt it this way and show people where the piano is. Oh, what happened to the piano? No, oh, we out just about the piano. We just moved around. We I just, know, but they don't get it. You're gonna have to show them. I, I think. I think I'm, it's, I can, if I move the camera, it'll lose me. Oh. It's literally. <laughs> three feet right from there. me right there and um, we're at a round table and so we're sitting at this side of it this time when we sit on that side of the round table the piano is on that wall we just moved the vases not the piano yeah <laughs> they're just like losing their mind. sorry okay so all right so with the bowl um like we talked about with the green one the ebay prices are all over the place i mean there's some pretty high prices for that bowl i love that there's some good collectors big collectors out there for that pattern but this one's thirty dollars thirty dollars this bowl is thirty dollars and it is number 16. number 16 for the opalescent bowl michelle said i know where the piano is i don't remember that piece of furniture i've been trying to explain to her what this here. bench yeah oh. it wasn't here when she was here oh oh yeah it wasn't here michelle We've we've done some rearranging. <laughs> yeah, that one was popular too, Laura. That's a beautiful bowl. They they both were. We got those. I guess the person collected at the auction that was at the five swung vase auction. Actually, those bowls came from, and they were together in a lot. And <laughs> I knew they were pretty, but. When I got them home, they were really pretty. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the first person that I had come through on my end is Sandra K. Sandra K, thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. That one was popular. It was popular. Thank you, Sandra K. That will be coming your way, and I think that you will love it. Yes, it, it'll be better in person, I promise. Okay, Nikki. But it lights up. Cool. So, yeah. She's talking about the bitch lighting up. I mean, it really does look like, I mean, it looks like a, I think that's what she's talking about. Is it about. Michelle talking about? Yeah, I think so. We've just got like lights on the, on the ground that are shooting up. So that's why it looks like there's light underneath. <laughs> now, no. I would think that this would be your favorite. This is, this is actually my favorite. No, I'm kidding. That bowl was one of my favorite things. This is another one of my favorite things. This was in our this week's video as well. And, you know, sometimes you, you find these snifters that are a little bit taller. This one is a little bit shorter. Rachel Pierce. Rachel's watching me. Hey, Rachel. Hi, hey, Rachel. Me. Rachel, you're taking such good care of your mom. You're so good. So it's got the nice little, I call it like a little wave around the, around the rim there. And then it's just got that beautiful optic pattern. I believe this is in Poli. I do not have a sticker to confirm it, but everything, 
everything about this says Empoli. I me. wish you guys had my view because every time she picks something up and shows it, it's really pretty from this way. I don't know if it's these lights behind us or whatever, but that blue is just gorgeous. Yeah. I love that. Are you sure you don't want to keep that? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the pretty, beautiful blue bowl, let me find it, is $24. $24 for this beauty. And it is number 38. Number 38. Did Empoli only do snifters? No. The kitschy cat. Because uh, a lot of things have stoppers. So they did lots of decanters. Mm -hmm. They did lots of... Um, like genie, candy. genie lamp bottles, genie bottles, candy dishes with the lid, boots with the fur. <laughs> <laughs> so that stick was around. Good. Stick around though. We're gonna show a really piece, a really pretty piece of Empoli here shortly. Yeah, it's it's not for sale yet. Yet it will be, but it will be. Okay, I have as the first person. Free range adulting. Nice. Free range adulting. Thank you, free range adulting. That is gorgeous, and you are going to be super stoked when you open that. And guess what, free range adulting? When you get it, it'll have a return address that you can, that you can mail something to us. That's at. true. <laughs> nice. Good job, guys. Fun, fun, fun. Jamie, you noticed too. What did we what did Jamie notice? What? I know Charlotte said that. Oh, apple bottom jeans. Boots with the fur. Okay, so that's our five items, but we've got a bonus. This time it's not a bonus elephant. I've actually got two bonus bunnies. Yeah, we kind of cheated a little, but we're trying to get in the Easter spirit. Trying to get in the Easter spirit. So I've got two bonus bunnies. Are we going to spin it to win it for the bonus bunnies? I don't know. Do you I think want we to? should. Do you guys want to play spin it to win it for the bonus bunnies? Yeah, yes or no. Are we going to spin There's to win two. for the bonus bunnies or... Just a standard price for the bonus bunnies. <laughs> Vinny's like, yay, bonus bun bun. <laughs> Free range adulting says, yay. Uh, thank you. I have a um, sniff. Uh, what would they say a snifter to match that? Hmm. Something to match it. I see lots of spins, lots of yeses, a few no's. Shook. No, I'm shook. <laughs> I'm seeing standard price. Oh, it's mixed. Laura, let's do one spin to win and one. I should have said we got two. So. Yeah, so it's a mixed crowd. So we'll we'll do um we'll do it this way. Okay. Nikki, will you hand me the other one, please? Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I think we should do the uh, that one spin it to win it and this one regular. Okay. I think these, I just went, tried to find some things that would be really cute to put in um, the little uh, Easter baskets. Easter baskets would be so cute. I love a good Easter basket. My kids are almost too big, but, you know, I've got a new one coming along. That's true. Next, next year I'll be able to, you know, knock it out of the park again with the Easter, Easter baskets. Okay, so this is going to be a standard price. We're going to give you the, the price and the item number first person for this bunny. Okay, so this is just a little, it's kind of like a bisque porcelain bunny with little kind of pinkish red eyes. This is um, Helen Fennel, porcelain by Helen Fennel. She was a potter in, uh, in Davenport, Iowa. We've got several pieces of her collection mm -hmm. that we ended up with in an auction or yards. I don't remember how we got all those. But we've got several pieces of her collection. So both of these bunnies are going to be Helen Fennel. Oh, Rachel. Maybe you'll get an Easter basket one of these days. <laughs> but this is just a sweet little guy. No chips or cracks on him. And we're going to throw in a little uh, linen dresser scarf. Wouldn't that be cute? Just coming out of the little peeking out of the Easter basket with a little bunny in there. I think that's very sweet. Yeah. Okay. So... This little guy, Helen Fennel, uh, porcelain bunny, sweet little guy, plus the dresser scarf, Laura. How about $10? $10. I think that's a bargain. $10. $10, and it is number 28. Number 28 for that little cutie.
okay? Vintage Jigs, what kind of games are we playing tonight? We've got a couple of different ones. I've got a couple ideas for tonight. <laughs> so Zeno really called us out last week. He was like, this is too vanilla for me. So I've got categories first. Which is vanilla. Which is pretty vanilla. Then as the night goes on, as we're losing people. <laughs> we might get a little saucy. We might get a little saucy. I've got things the adult version. <laughs> for for all of you late night owls who want to stay up with us and get saucy. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so uh, the first person who I saw type in number 28 is, I'm just double checking. I've got Anna Bella Treasure Finds. Nice. I think that's a new person. Yes, it is. Thanks, Annabella. Thank you so much. That little pretty little bunny is coming your way. Thanks so much. Okay. All right. Spin to win. These little guys are going to be spin to win. So let me explain spin to win. When we do mystery boxes, we do uh, those this way as well. So Again, this will have a price and it will have an item number. If you're interested in purchasing these bunnies, you will type in the item number into the chat. Yes. Instead of the first person, however, we will take the total number of people interested. Pretend that number is 10 of you are interested. I don't have my spin it to win it thing. Well, you better go get it. Okay. okay. It's in their plug. Her phone's in their plug. Bag. It was about to die. Okay. So, so pretend 10 people are interested in purchasing. Uh, Laura has an app on her phone that's like a little yeah. spin wheel. And so we'll put in we'll put in the numbers one through ten and spin and it'll generate a random number. Say that number's three, we'll take the third person. Did you like that look that I gave you? Yeah. It just it drops me up the I'm wall. I'm sorry. <laughs> you love to interrupt me when I'm trying to explain. I'm not things. interrupting you, I'm like talking around you. It's the same thing. <laughs> you drive me insane. <laughs> Oh my God. Anyway, anyway, we call that spin to win. Again, we'll take the total people, um, the total number of people interested. So pretend that there's 10 people interested. Laura will spin and generate a random number and we'll take that number of people in the comments. Does that make sense? Are you guys with me? They, they got it. They got it. Okay. <clears throat> so, in this lot, again, this is another Helen Fennel porcelain. This time you're getting two bunnies. And they're just loving on each other. They Aren't would they also... Cute? Look how cute they are. I just love that little hint of pink. They would also be cute in your little Easter basket. No chips or cracks on them. Again, I think I said that. Helen Fennel porcelain. And Laura has thrown in this little... Isn't that cute? This little plaque. It's Hallmark, like from the 70s. <laughs> a giggle a day keeps the glums away, and that is Hallmark. It's got the original price tag on there, Laura. So Laura is throwing this little plaque in there with it. Can I ask one question? Yeah. I didn't notice before. Is that a date on the front, just really teeny tiny down there at the bottom? No, it just says Hallmark Cards Incorporated. Okay. okay. It doesn't matter, but... They're so cute. Okay, so you're getting those two things. Won't they be cute in an Easter basket? That's adorable. Okay, so Laura, why don't you give us a uh, price and an item? Okay, number. again, it's $10, just a bargain, a fun bargain, $10. Number 37. Number 37 on these guys. And again, we're going to do a spin to win. Number 37. So don't give up. If you see somebody ahead of you, go ahead and put your number in. We're going to spin to win. And only type in your number once, please. Somebody told you to take a deep breath. How many cases do you <laughs> Maybe you should take the deep breath. You're the person who's interrupting. My goodness. All our new people are going to think. Yeah, they're really going to think I'm in trouble. All these new people are going to think I'm serious. I'm not. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to start counting, Laura. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna re remember how to put the right number in my spin it to win it roulette wheel. <laughs> Angela, have you got your mystery box yet? I can't remember when, what day I mailed it. Okay, so my, my chat shifted in the middle of counting, but I think it's about 51. 51. 51. Got it. Yeah. Awesome. 51. Okay, so Laura is going to spin a random number between 1 and 51. And whoever is that number in the chat will win the opportunity to purchase the item. Okay, I was, I'm trying to make sure that I see the number 51 on there, and I do. Did you hit restart? Uh-huh. Okay. Go for it. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Seven. It was a short spin. It was. Number seven. Okay, so let me go back up to the top. And it was it was 37, correct? The number 37? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm double checking. 37 is what they had to put in there. Okay, so you want to count with me? Yes. Make sure I do this right. Uh-huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what I got. That's what you got? Yep. The winner is Terry Nichols. Terry Nichols. Terry Nichols, congratulations. Terry Nichols, you did it. Congratulations. Yay. And again, this is how we do our mystery boxes. We don't have a mystery box this week. That that concludes our sale. Uh, but we do mystery boxes that way because so many people are interested. And we just like to jazz it up a little and give kind of everybody the same chance. And speaking of mystery boxes, I feel some mystery boxes in our near future oh because gosh. of this auction again with so the you auction. guys if you haven't hit the bell after you've subscribed to us you probably should because you don't want to miss out when mary beth puts up the graphic that says yeah a million mystery boxes we've got good stuff coming <laughs> the next several weeks video we've got we've got some good stuff yeah. okay so all of our winners tonight for the fat bird five and our two bonus bunnies if you were a winner, make sure you send um, your information to us, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Again, we need your name with your YouTube name, if that if it's different. And then we need your PayPal information and your shipping address. And that way we can um, invoice your shipping cost as well. And again, we do put out invoices on Sundays, typically. Yes, and thanks to all you guys that bid and um, just come back on a Friday night. Or you can also visit our eBay store. And where we try to try to keep things listed pretty, pretty good. We try to keep things updated. Thanks, man. And, hey, I tell you what, though, I've got Fridays off during the summers. Yes. So, oh, my God, we're back to summer again. I know. It's almost I here. feel like it's been that way because you've been working from home. So starting in May, I'm going to have Fridays off. So I'm probably going to need to like utilize my Fridays and list, list, list. I'll have to like set me a goal of like, I don't know, five or 10 items per Friday yeah. to list. And then if you will watch our videos right when they come out, if you hit the bell and you know, when they, when they come out, they don't come out at the exact same time every week. Um, we also accept uh, bids through email. Yeah. Off of things that you see on the video yeah. before we get a chance to get to Friday night. Yeah, so. anytime that we show anything in any of our videos or if we show like a haul in, in during flipping and sipping, just like a little bit of content, you can always email us if you're interested in anything that we show. That's right. And just like this past video, um, we sold several of the little children's books that we showed. Um, we sold the... Uh, Bola Conte, mm -hmm. uh, what you call it, bowl? Murano. <laughs> that really pretty Murano cobalt um, bowl. We saw mm -hmm. that. So, yeah, that's right. Okay, before before a lot of you guys leave, don't leave because I'm going to show you a preview of our auction. Now, this past um, St. Patrick's Day, was that Wednesday? Yes. Wednesday, we, that was actually the day that we went and picked up our auction stuff. Mm -hmm. We were on. Um, <laughs> that was a big day. We were on the live chat with um, Mimi's Treasure Cottage with Cindy. And she asked us to bring something green to show in honor of St. Patrick's Day. 
And so we brought two items from the auction that we had just picked up. That was really fun. And so we're going to show them again now because not all of you obviously were there. Yeah. And these are so good. They're really good. And it was so funny because we were like, oh my gosh, we don't, we're going to have a hard time finding something green. And then I was like, Mary Beth, we're going to pick up the auction stuff right before we go on with Cindy. And she's like, that's right. We are going to have green stuff. We got that's a ton right. of green stuff. But we saved the green swung base for you guys. Yeah. Oh, you should put up your swung base, your five swung base. I will in a minute. Thing. I've got my hand The full. new people. I've got my hand full of Empoli right now. Okay. Look at this, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So this was part of our auction lot. I have not come across a piece of Empoli this big. So somebody was asking earlier if the Empoli was only the snifters, and it isn't. So this is a, a lidded candy dish. It's also got kind of that little wave-like rim around uh, on the lid and on the bowl. Zeno, don't drop it. Thanks, Zeno. Thanks, Zeno. But my gosh, this is just freaking gorgeous, you guys, and it's huge. Most of the candy dishes that we ever find are only ever about half the size. And this is this is quite tall, actually. And I'm yeah, I'm afraid that I will drop it. Oh, and Auntie Christy said, so epic and so clean. Yeah, this person's um estate at this auction, everything that we got was almost in perfect condition. So this person really took care of their stuff. You know, a lot of times when we'll get stuff at auctions, we'll get it home and it's broken or chipped or not as perfect as we thought it would be. This stuff has just absolutely astounded us. So isn't that pretty? Oh my God, I love it. Here's your sneak peek at some of our auction stuff right here. Right there. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Do we have yeah. You get the black, 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 black. Oh, so no, we don't have it. Okay. Well, I can get it. Here you go. I just looked up in Poli. It turns out it's a region in Italy, not a company. Like Murano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good tip, Lavish Mango. That's right. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Laura, here's Laura's favorite piece. Yes, this is it. Hey, Nicole North Garden. Hey, North. I'm looking. Somebody had a really cute shirt idea too. This one. So, tell oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Tell everybody what this is for those who don't know. Okay, so this when when we first started doing this, um, if you don't know, my mom has an antique shop, okay. and I grew up, you know, around all this kind of stuff. Laura grew up in the biz, <laughs> and so. Mom was trying to get, mom likes different stuff though. Her customers like different things. And so she was trying to get, um, she was trying to get a handle on, you know, what everybody likes. And so she was like, man, everybody loves uranium glass. Laura, if you ever see the tea berry advertising pieces for tea berry gum, those are the most desirable uranium pieces. And that's what this is. Oh yes. my God. It's so Cute. So check this out. Hope I don't know if you guys can see it. Cover your face, Laura. I was oh. trying to focus on your face. Sometimes some of you guys may remember tea berry gum. So this is a tea berry gum advertising stand. You want me to turn off lights? No, you don't have to. Yeah, maybe that'd be fine. Okay, I'll just move up out of the frame for a second. <laughs> so originally this would have had like a box, right? Is that right? Not yet. Yeah, it comes it, it would have also come with a box that held the gum. Okay, but and then the gum would have just been in there. But a lot of times people just put, set a box of the gum on there like this too. Right. So yeah, you can hit the light. Uh, so that's just gorgeous. It's I actually, think it's, I think it's the blue lights that are. <laughs> yeah, there. We've got some interference. Look at that. Look how glowy it is. But yeah, this just glows beautifully. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. You people can, are saying they love tea up. berry gum. And then some people are like, oh, it's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, again, so this is one of the most, the, the more desirable pieces um, to collect. I think Lori, um, Lori Ann Sugarbridges said that she has the tray. She did say that. So, like, there's a little display tray as well. So, there's like three or, you know, like maybe three or four different pieces, but they all say Clark's. 
on there. Isn't that awesome? I mean, even with the lights on, you can tell how much that glows. It's fantastic. I love that piece. Yes. It truly is Vaseline glass. You know, once you put your hands on it, Mary Beth and I used to talk about what's the difference in uranium and Vaseline glass. You can really tell the difference mm -hmm. once you've picked up a piece of it. Yep. And these go for around $125, $130 on eBay. Those are sold too. Those are not just listed prices. Those are sold prices. So if you ever come across a tea berry gum stand, make sure you pick it up. Laura and I were willing to, to really spend up for this piece because we knew we'd get our money back. Yeah. Um, somebody's asking if that's for sale. We're not going to offer it as a live sale because I know that's a little bit out of a lot of people's price range. If you're interested in that though, email us. We'll, we'll take, you know, We'll take your offer into consideration. We're thinking about listing it on eBay for 125. Yeah, we're we're, we're fairly certain we can get 125 dollars on it. So, <gasps> did you see that butterfly nurse? So butterfly I said, nurse. no, I sold one for 350. So, yeah, we might we'll we'll take your offers into consideration, but it's it's not we're not a, we're it's not definite that we're ready to sell it yet. I know. I just love having it for for a minute. Um, you know, Mary Beth, I I. The niche lady, Danny, I saw her on here. Hi, Danny. Um, one of her best pieces of advice, and I try to remember to do it, and sometimes I don't, I get excited, and I just look something up really quick. But I try to remember to not only filter for sold, but to sort from the highest, right? Oh, you're not listening to No, me. I'm not. Carrie has started an offer up in the chat. <laughs> She's like, start. Oh, Danny said you can get 125 all day long. See, you guys are helping yeah. us, right? <laughs> so, yeah, Danny, I'm just, I'm just saying that I, I didn't take your advice on that. I probably just looked up regular solds, which is the most recent. Right. Danny says reminds us to sort from the highest. Gotcha. Instead of from the most recent, because eBay's, eBay's like anything else. You know, they'll put people. Will, we're not doing that. People people will put stuff up for auction, right? Right. And, and you know, maybe it's not your week to be on there, and, and it slides under the wire and it goes cheaper, but that doesn't mean it's not worth more than that, as right. obviously you can see. Right. <laughs> These people. <laughs> Just do it. No. Okay. Yeah, so... That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for that reminder. I forget to do that. Yeah, I always forget to do it. And so um, Danny was like giving out that advice the other night. And I was like, yes, I've got to do that. <laughs> Carrie, due to unforeseen circumstance, the offer up is canceled. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll take your emails. It's a good into, try, Carrie. We'll take your emails into consideration. We probably won't entertain anything under 125. But uh, we're, Laura and I are going to look into it a little bit more, and we're, we're willing to sell it. We're just not sure how much we're willing to sell it for yet. Does that it, make sense? And somebody, and somebody asked how much we paid for it. So I really wanted it just because I wanted to do a video about it. Yeah. So in the lot. We want it to be on the video. Coincidentally, these two items were in the same lot. So the Empoli and the Tea Berry were in the same lot with like three not so great bowls. So it was three little bowls that matched each other. The I don't, maybe it was. It was. Okay. The tea berry uh, teas, uh, stand and the Empoli, all of that together in one lot. I was willing to pay 125 for it because that's what it was. I knew it was worth at least that much. And I wanted to shoot a video about it. Uh -huh. So I was willing to um, spend up to 125 and I only paid, I think, I'll tell you exactly. I've got my sheet right here. Can we guess what you paid for it? Yeah, oh, yeah, you guess. can guess. Show um, it again. Yeah, we'll show it again, Cheryl. So it was the... Somebody said, Joy, you don't want to keep it? It was the This is berry. not my mom's kind of thing. I mean, she can appreciate it, but it's not her favorite kind of thing. So it was these two items plus three little green bowls that really aren't anything. Mom, Mom's answer to that was, Lisa, they didn't offer it to me. <laughs> Oh, mom, we should show what mom got. Mom got silver yeah, those are cool or whatever. Too. I have to remember what <laughs> well, I paid. They're, they're guessing what you paid. Let's see if anybody's got We it. paid up. So, um, we don't typically. I was using mom's bitter number, and so she knew what we paid for stuff once it was <laughs> over. And she called me up, and she goes, is that right? 
What Why did you, did you spend so much money? What did you buy? Y'all don't usually spend anything like that. I was like, yeah, I know. We were just but so much good stuff. My mom's always the one to, to, to pay up for something that she wants, though. Okay, I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing that Rachel is the closest. Hi, Rachel. Oh, wait, Barbara. Barbara got it right on the money. Oh, $65. That's what we spent for the tea berry and the empoli plus those three little green bowls. That are, They're just standard little green glass bowls. You know, and we like to get stuff cheaper than that, but you know. <laughs> I mean, you gotta you gotta get with it and get in there to get the cool stuff. You gotta pay up a little. Everybody knows now with eBay and and being able to look stuff up. Everybody's got some idea. You can't get those super bargain basement prices. Anymore. Yeah, I mean, we can spend one to five dollars all day long and flip it for a price of around twenty. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I mean, I'm willing to pay sixty dollars for something that I know we're going to get at least a hundred and twenty-five for. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, you spent sixty dollars on the two pieces, right? Together, so right, you really got a good deal. So, and coincidentally, Laura had um, bought those that big lot of paperweights and that big lot of perfume bottles too mm -hmm. that we really paid up paid up for in our eyes because we're used to going to like little thrifting. <laughs> thrift stores and flea markets and things and paying, you know, really low prices for these things. But, you know, it pays off sometimes to, to pay those big numbers, yeah. even though it makes me nervous. I know it makes you nervous, <laughs> but you're better at it than I am. It makes me kind of nervous. Too. What was our total? What did we spend all in all at that auction? Um, the total was our total. Mom had like a $60 purchase in there. So our total was $610. $610. That's much more than we typically spend. Yeah. But we've got a whole bedroom full of stuff, though. So it's really good. I'm telling you, don't miss our, our videos coming up because we've got content for days. Vinny says he paid up for some Playboy magazines. If he can do it, everybody can do it. Yeah. Well, you know, some. Of, I mean, that's what makes it fun, you know, because you never know what you're going to find. You don't know what you're going to pay for it. You never know what somebody else is going to pay for something. So it's just a lot of fun. And, you know, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't pan out. Sometimes you get things and they're broken. But sometimes, like this time, we really lucked out. You know, this stuff was in super good shape and we couldn't have been happier when we were coming in here and unboxing all of our stuff the other day. We were just so happy. Can I, can I just give them one more little hint of what's to come? What kind of hint? Of something else that we got. Oh, okay. Mary Beth, there was another lot of green glass. Oh, yeah. There was another, yes. there was another lot of green glass and there was pink. There was pink depression glass, green depression glass, and <clears throat> I was like, ah, I'm not so interested in the, in just this time, I'm not so interested in the depression glass. Wait, so in the description, in the description of everything, they usually say uranium glass. This is uranium glass. In their descriptions, they usually say it. Oh, yeah. In this particular description that we're talking about, all it said was green depression glass, yeah. and then, of course, it had a picture of it. Yeah, so I said, I said, um, I said, yeah, I, I think I'll pass on that. And Mary Beth was like, really? What if it's uranium glass? I'm like, it's not. I'm like, they, they know. Wait, pause. <laughs> Again, let's reiterate that. I said, what if it's uranium glass? I think it is. <laughs> and Laura was like, it isn't. They would have said it. I said, they, they know what they're doing. I said, you know, they like to play dumb sometimes, you know, because that's kind of the way auctioneers are. They, they want you to think that you know more than they do about something. And you're she giving said a surprise. they would have said but if they, it was uranium glass. But they would have said. And I was like, it's it's not. It's not uranium glass. So I was like, I bet you. I so, bet you it's uranium glass. What was it? It was uranium glass. It glows like beautiful. Yeah. So we got several pieces. <laughs> I was going to curse. We got around eight pieces. Yeah. Eight pieces for $15. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you guys. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was fun. Danny says they miss stuff all the time. It's true. I know they do, Danny, but you know, have you ever, don't you think that they play dumb as well? I do. Because <laughs> I know, because I know these guys. I mean, they've had auctions since I was little, and I know <laughs> they know what uranium class is. They want, they want to let you think that you found this big. 
you know, bargain. Catherine wants our live sale to be called a proper sale. It, oh, yes, a proper sale. That's Catherine. what it's going to be. That's right. I'm ready. We'll have to, we'll have to, we'll have to do it when we have like a three day weekend or something. We're, we're, we're do a big one. We are. We haven't had one in a while. We've done some like group sales with people like with Patrick and mm-hmm. uh, with uh, David from uh, Toledo Antiques. Uh-huh. So yeah, we're do another one. Some pink depression glass can glow too. Really? Now, I don't think that I have seen that. That's so, good to know. Yeah. I bid on some depression glass, uh, some pink depression glass, and it went a little higher than I was willing to pay for it. There were several things that I wanted in this auction. Should I tell them about the ornaments? <laughs> there was a box of mercury glass Christmas ornaments. So all I could see was that they were individually wrapped in the top of a box. And I could see that there were about 20 ornaments individually wrapped in the top of the box Mm -hmm. and it said mercury vintage christmas ornaments and by the size of the box i could determine that there were about three or four rows of ornaments that were wrapped so it was either like 60 or 80 60 to 80 ornaments in this box and laura was like i would pay 20 or so dollars for that i got into a bidding war with this other unknown person to me and they just kept up bidding me and kept up bidding me. And I was like, they know. They know that there's something in there <laughs> that's really good. Because we could we didn't go to the preview. You could go to a preview and look at it, but we didn't go. We couldn't go. And I was like, they know. They've seen, they've looked in there, they know <laughs> what's in there. And I just kept going and I kept going and I kept going. And every time I would bid a little more, I would think, oh no, Laura's gonna be so mad at me. And then they would bid again. And I would be like, whew, thank goodness. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> and this particular auction, they extend the time by like two minutes. Like if there's a bid within those two minutes, they'll extend it again for two minutes. And then you've got other, it's very stressful actually, because then you've got other stuff on your list that's ending. That's ending. Yeah, it is stressful. But I was caught up in the moment, y'all. I should not be in charge of this because I'm way too competitive. You know what it reminds me of? No. Poker. Well, yeah, it reminds me of poker because you know you're you're bluffing. You I'm know? getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I shouldn't be in charge of it because I'm way too competitive, and I just kept going and I kept going. And anyway, Laura told me she she wrote down numbers. She wrote down. She was like, "Only spend X on this stuff. Don't go over." And I was like, "Yes, ma'am." Anyway, she said to spend. Now, Wait. Tell, tell that like it really is. You said only spend this. <laughs> anyway, she told me to spend around $20. I went up to $130 on this box of mercury ornaments that I had no idea what was in there. And thank God, because that was really sweating. That person went up to $135, and I was like, that's, I'm done. I'm done. Then we went to get them picking up, though. She's like, oh. I kind of wish I would have got that. But I did that on a couple different lots. You could only see, like, some little fruit ornaments. So who knows what was in there. But we, yeah. Anyway, I could have really messed up, but I didn't end up getting those. But so, that was a funny story anyway. Yeah, you guys will have to watch for those videos. And also, my mom, let me just tell you real quick. Sunday, I went to help my mom. She's like, hey, can you help me go get some stuff? I just, um, I got an estate of things and I, we need to go get the little stuff and the movers don't go get the furniture. And I was like, okay. So we go over to get the little stuff. And I'm like, mom's like, oh, there's probably some stuff in here that you're going to want. And I'm like, really? Like what? And she goes, I don't know. I don't know what's in there. And I was like, <laughs> what? And she was like, yeah, I just, I made Dixie bark when I did that. She's sleep barking. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, so then all of a sudden, then mom's like, no, I just paid one price for all these boxes. And all I've seen is what's in the tops of the boxes. I I have no idea what's in them. I could not even, (laughs) like we went to pick them up and I knew I was going to do a video, but I didn't want to do it at the, at the people's house. So I was doing, I, I knew I would do it back at layman's, but mom was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I can't load the car because I'm like trying to look in these boxes. It was driving me insane. I bet. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to do videos and unpacking those boxes. Are they, do you still don't know what's in them exactly? I still don't know what's in them. Well, that'll be fun. We can go through them all together at the same time. That'll be a good video. Yeah. 
Okay. I've got a little bit more content here. This so, is not of who's the leaving us. Good night, whoever you are. I think Little Treasures <laughs> by Nancy. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I've got a couple, I've got a few pieces here of content. My mom called me the other day from the Goodwill and she was like asking me questions. She was like, Do you guys like this, this, and this? Or what do you think about these things? Because she knows that, you know, we like to try to find the best things ever and she doesn't exactly know what we want. But she did a really good job. I'm going to show you a few things that she came over to my house the other day. She's like, here's what I found you at the Goodwill <laughs> and at this other thrift store. And I was like, mom, this is great. So first thing she found, this will be a little mystery box item one day. This is just a little Fire King, uh, milk, is it milk glass? Do you call this milk glass? I don't know. Not really. If it's Fire King, you don't really call it milk glass. I don't really know what you call milk glass. I don't really know. Well, it looks like that. <laughs> anyway, this but is not Fire King. Just a little Fire King white ramekin that she found. I think that was only like 59 cents or something. And then this is kind of cool. She found this little mixing bowl with this little pourer, this little spout. And the bottom says, wait for it. Um, glass bake for sunbeam. So this must have maybe been for a sunbeam mixer, do you think? Yeah, I think so. So yeah, this is kind of cool. I think this was only 99 cents. Glass bake is a thing. It's a, it's a brand. Yeah, so this says glass bake by sun, or for sunbeam. Mm -hmm. Cute. Love it. It was only 99 cents. Hey, Laura Melendez. Hi, Laura. And then she found this cute little dish. This would be really cute in a mystery box, too. So this is just a sweet little dish. This is cute. I've never seen this before. This is, it's a copy of Claws and A. Yeah, it's supposed to look like Claws and A, but it isn't. <laughs> yeah, so it's super cute. And then the back just has that little mark on it. They're saying in the chat, they're amazed at how many people sell gross, dirty things. Man. Like you yeah. know, me too. A lot of times you can go to the best end of town, like, you know, where all the good houses are and stuff. And they're the grossest. They just put their stuff out without cleaning it or anything. And then she found this really sweet footed dish. Somebody, Sarah Lee said that your bowl there was for the mix master. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, somebody said some of those mixing bowls blow. For real? I bet mine, I'm sure mine does and I couldn't be that lucky. <laughs> no, I just checked it. It doesn't. <laughs> So anyway, this, try, this has a little New Orleans, New Orleans uh, Japan sticker on the bottom. I think that's sweet. And it's a little bit lustery, isn't it? Don't you think? Uh-huh. Definitely. I'm sorry. I yawned. It's okay. Anyway, I think that's adorable. This would be a really nice item in a live sale one day. Very sweet. Love that. And then the last thing that she found was this uh, little divided amber dish i believe that's indiana glass possibly that's pretty i like that i do too just a sweet little <laughs> divided dish you could put your some nuts in there or mints or something why are you laughing at me carrie said sometimes i glow <laughs> yeah you do <laughs> uh, <laughs> so somebody says um the vase is okay so and, oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, those that's my collection of uh, swung vases. Most of them are Viking glass. I believe that that one right there is <laughs> Ellie Smith Bittersweet. Um, and no, I'm not selling them. Those are and just the green one. Whoops. The green one we just bought at, at an auction. Um, and yeah, they're not for sale. Those are just to show off because I'm really proud of them. <laughs> show her, show her your five swung vases. Yeah, so I'm going to give that one, that green vase, that's that's definitely a five out of five swung vases for me. Yes. So that's our ranking system around here. Yeah. So new people, we went to an auction one night and these were exactly, I mean, you can see the one behind. Oops. Yeah, you can see we got the little one right there. That's the one we got. We couldn't afford to, I mean, they went out of sight. Out of sight, Laura. Indi individually. But anyway, so... 
our hilarious viewers came yes. up with this idea that it's like what kind of week are you having well it's about a one out of five yeah then maybe a two out of five how was your day it's like a three, three out, out of five, five. swung base maybe day. four <laughs> but definitely the auction the items that we got back were a definite five out of five definite five out of five swung bases yep. most definitely <laughs> love it so yeah, yeah those like big ones. Did. We all want them. The yeah. big ones in that picture, and this is not enhanced. I mean, this is the size that they were. So this small one here is still pretty big, and you can see here on the end how large the other ones were in relation to it. I mean, they were huge. I mean, they're floor vases essentially. People put them on the floor because they were so big. Indeed. Okay, I've got one more thing before we get into our game for the night. Okay. We've got friend mail. We have friend yes, mail. Look, we did. Here's our letter. Okay. Our good friend from Canada. You ripped it. It's okay. I've got it right here. Our very good friend from Canada, Sandra Outerbridge. Sandra Outerbridge sent us friend mail. I think our time difference does not allow Sandra to be on here on this show very often, but probably not. Yeah. But thank you, Sandra, so much. Yes. She sent us the cutest little elephants. And she said we could sell them for our bonus elephants or keep them. So you might see one of these show up as a bonus elephant. Or you, they might just be in a mystery box one day. But here's the first one. That sweet little guy. Look Aww, at his little eyes. Look how cute he is. So there's one. <laughs> and here's the second one. Oh, he's like ready to play look at him he's got his trunk up too that's the second one cute and then one more i love this one this one's my favorite there's the last one diane i'm gonna go get a sweatshirt because somebody's asking about the sweatshirts really quick. we have a few sweatshirts left not many i think we've got laura double check on that I've got a little inventory sheet out there. I think we've got three 2Xs left and three 3Xs left. Is that right? She can't read. No, no, no. The inventory, there's this little sheet on the outside of that tote, that big clear tote. Yes, okay. Yeah, hoodie. Okay, so on hoodies, I've got three 2Xs left and three 3Xs three left. What about t-shirts? Um, you brought them in here. Well, yeah, I just want to hold one up. Let me see the sheet there. Okay, on t-shirts, I've got five extra larges left, one large, and we, one small. Neither one of us are wearing one tonight, but usually we are. They're so cute. That's the small. So I've got one small, one large, and five extra large. Is that right? I don't have any bigger sizes. What's that sheet? Um, there's an extra large long sleeve. I think I, I thought we had some bigger sizes left. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, there's bigger ones. Let me see that. Tote. I don't know. Let me see that tote. Oh yeah, we do. There's a there's yeah, a, there, I, and there the the t-shirts are fifteen dollars, and the hoodies are twenty four dollars. Just email us if you're interested, and we'll see what we've got left. The hoodies will be uh, more expensive the next time we order, but the hoodies for right now are twenty four, and the t-shirts are fifteen. Um, and yeah, they're they're like just a typical unisex t-shirt, like you would buy at a ball game or something. Yeah, they're. I guess what you call a men's t-shirt. Right. Whatever. Yeah. So most of the smaller sizes, we don't have much left of those. But anyway, just email us if you're interested. <laughs> that small, I mean, they're pretty generous sizes. We only have a few left. Katie says vintage and vinyl. They're very soft. They really good. are comfortable. They're really good. Good. Mid-century wasted. I'm wearing the shirt now. Oh, oh good. that's fine. You got to put your shirt on and then have your drink. <laughs> Okay, so that is all of the content that I've got for the night. So, how about a game? Yes, let's play a game. Now that we've lost like yeah, let's 30 people. Straight to Saucy. You want to go straight to Saucy? Yeah, because you're losing people. Let's go straight to Saucy. Nikki's well, like, we just lose people because they like to buy stuff. 
That's true. Yeah, but saucy might keep them longer. I'm gonna go to categories. <laughs> I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose people for because I'm going saucy though. Let's just play with this for a few minutes and then we'll go saucy. I don't care what you do. <laughs> I want to give people the opportunity to stay. Has anybody played categories before? This is fun. I'm sure you have. Watch out now. Don't yell at me. <laughs> I've about had it with your mouth anyway. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's team saucy. Did y'all see Misty's bittersweet vase this week? I did not. Did not see that. What time is it? It's 11 15, or it's 10 15. There it went. Whoo! Past me. It's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, um, nobody's saying that you can't make uh, categories a little saucy. I'm just That's saying. true. You can make it yes, as, as, as saucy as you want. Who had 10 15? <laughs> just, just wondering. Who had 10 15? <laughs> okay. I have this dice, so I'm gonna roll it, and I'm gonna roll a letter, right? Is that mm -hmm. how we play? Mm -hmm. So I've got a list of things, and then, okay, let's just roll a letter first. Are you ready? Who won the hair thing? <laughs> and the object of the, game, of the game is to have an answer that nobody else has. So that'll be really hard in the chat. Yeah, is that, is that what you have to do? You have yeah. to pick something that nobody else would say? Yes. Okay, here we go. R. The letter is R on my dice. <laughs> R, as in Rhonda, as in my mom's not here. <laughs> my mom's coming over tomorrow. We're going to play some cards. That'll be good. R, as in... Mom, do you want to come over and play cards too? Yes. R, as in rar. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the idea is you need to try to come up with um, something that nobody else would say. Lavish Mango, can I send you the difference and get the sweatshirt instead of my t-shirt? Yes. If we have the right size, you can. Did we already send her one, though? Didn't oh, I think it went out today. We might have already sent you yours, Lavish Melinda. Mango, are you Melinda? Yeah. That's I, was all really on the, I was really on the ball, and I sent you yours today. So we'll just just email us, Melinda, and uh, if if we've got the size that you need, we'll, we'll okay. We'll here we go. Here we out. go with the R's. Oh wait, okay. <laughs> R. Did you give them what? They're no, just putting they're R's just putting in stuff. <laughs> I was like, did I miss something? Types of sports. Okay. Types of sports. R. <laughs> okay. With an R. All right, I'm ready. Racing. Racing, that's yours? I don't know. Mine's racquetball. Wow. Well, it's important because they have to <laughs> they have to not match anybody. Why would you yell at me? <laughs> Lots of people are saying rugby. Roller skating. That's a good one. Lisa days that I thought oh, I was yeah. lagging. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> no. <That's funny. laughs> we just have some very eager, over aggressive people. Is what's <laughs> happening. Oh, it's funny. What else are people saying? Red Rover. That's a sport, Doug. That's pushing it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to take a vote. I like it. I like <laughs> Seth Red Rover. Rowing. That's a good answer. It Rhythmic is. gymnastics. I think that's a great answer. <laughs> Rock climbing. Yeah, that's really, also really good. We probably need the paddle <laughs> like, to write down our I don't answers. think I can accept wrestling <laughs> that was a good trial I'm I'm feeling um raunchy charades I'm feeling rhythmic gymnastics though that's a good answer yeah. Gary all right that's pretty good should we roll um a new letter for the next one or should we stay with R you tell me Roll. Roll. Okay, here we go. Good night, Michelle. Good night, Michelle. I'm going to do another letter. T. T as in terraforming. I don't know where that word came from. <laughs> T as in spill the tea. Song titles. 
Oh, song titles with a T. Also, I think it's a racket if you say something the something. Yeah, let's don't count. Well, I mean, because everybody's going to match the. You can't do that. Yeah. Song, song titles with a T. I don't know. Take me out to the oh, that's ball a good one. <laughs> What is mine going to be? I'm shutting my eyes because I don't want to see anybody's name. So let's see. Thunder rolls and lightning strikes. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> um, three times a lady. That's mine. Whoa, <laughs> Laura, that's saucy, <laughs> right? That's a good one. Tears on my pillow. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Twist and shout. Love it. Good one, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So if you remember, you get 10 Who points. Who sings that? What? Whatever you just said. What did I say? Something about three times a lady. Oh. That's the Commodores. <laughs> you don't know the Commodores? Oh, my God. Laura is really feeling that one. Yeah, if I could sing at all, I would I would sing that one. That's one, one that I could sing. I was, I remember I was in the sixth grade when that came out. I thought that was the most awesome song ever. What's Tears of a Clown? But, yeah, Lionel Richie is the lead singer of the Commodores. I don't know Tears of a Clown. Oh, that's a good one. Is it? Yeah, that's a really vintage one. What it's is really it? One. I don't know that song. Um, <laughs> I can't sing at all, so I, I'm not going to do it. I, it's going. It's playing in my head. It's too bad that I can't just, like, <laughs> belt it out for you. Okay, I'm going to roll again. Are you ready? Uh-huh. I got... Wait, that's the same letter. <gasps> C, as in... Cat. It was a C. As in crocodile. Okay. Ready? Fruits. Oh, with a C. Good luck at trying to find one not to match someone else. Fruit with a C. Fruit with a C. How do you spell kumquat? That's mine. I don't know. I think it's a K. I'm a bad. Is it really? I'm a bad speller. Oh, cashew. Darn. Is that a fruit? I don't know. What's a fruit? Why don't Richie's getting a Vegas contract to get out of town? Oh my God! I bet you're right because he's like a judge on uh, American Idol now. I bet he is doing something. Hello, like that. it's me. <laughs> Coconut. Good answer. Good answer. Cher cherry. Good answer. Cactus. Is that a fruit? Danny? A, a cactus fruit. Is it? That's what you, that's a name. You say cactus fruit, but I don't know what it, what kind that is, but I've heard of that. Wow. Cassava melon. That's a great one. I think that's the winner. <laughs> Cassava melon. A cashew is a fruit. Stop it. Cranberry. That's a good answer. I like cassava melon. See, that girl, uh, Gabrielle spelled kumquat with a C. That, that's what I thought, too. Chinese pear. That's also a good answer. Cantaloupe. Ah. I, I couldn't even think of one. I'm bad at this. <laughs> Nancy at this over stuff house said, look it up. Cashew is a fruit. It blew my mind. Come on. Nancy. Stop, Stop it. Cashew is a nut. is not a fruit. Laura is a botanist. Did you guys know? <laughs> oh, so other people are saying they looked up kumquat as a cake. I believe I believe everybody else. I don't believe you though. Okay, I'm gonna roll again. Right. Okay, you guys be your own judge on that one. I got <laughs> H as in heroin. <gasps> H. Sorry. Go with your conscience on the cashew one. H weapons. Weapons. What's a weapon that starts with H? A hose. Like a water hose. <laughs> um, that could hurt if you did it hard enough. Like hand with, gun, that's good. Like with the, the nozzle, like if it was really, you know, a lot of water pressure. That would be bad. 
I guess. A hammer. A hot oh, chili. A hammer. Hydrogen bomb. Good one. Good oh, answer. Hatchet. Hairbrush. I don't have one for this. Hairbrush. <laughs> Anybody get spanked with a hairbrush? Probably. Did you? I don't get spanking. You didn't get spanking? No, I was a good girl. Really? Was it because you were good or because your parents didn't do that? No, my parents did. My dad did. My dad would. I had a mean chair. A mean chair? Yeah. Did, he was, did you get a spanking? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With what? It was a hand. I never, oh. I don't think I ever got a spanking with an item. It was a hand spanking. But I had a mean chair. My dad was like, go get in your chair. And I, was, I had to sit there for however long. Hey, hand is a good weapon. <laughs> That's, right? a, that's a good one. Got any Disney questions? <laughs> Not tonight. I don't think we've got any Disney questions tonight. You What's never that? know, though. I don't understand what that means. <laughs> Nikki's passing us notes. I don't. It's like I'm in just, code. I'm just being silly. Hugs can be a weapon. That's true. That's true. Okay, I'm gonna go again. A harpoon. Lynn oh Hampton. God. Good answer. You know, Lynn Hampton, you know what that reminds me of? Like that episode of Gilligan's Island where they have a harpoon. They have a harpoon on Gilligan's Island in one of the huts and like they booby trap one of the huts and the, Lars said harp booby. and the harpoon falls over and shoots. Yeah. Yeah. Laura, please don't tell him B. I'm drunk again. So don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. I won't tell. <laughs> Nobody's nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's okay. It's flipping and sipping. We're oh. all at home. We're all watching this on YouTube. It's fine. Danny said, "Hey, I said harpoon first. Did you, Danny? <laughs> I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Vintage Vinny, you have to drink. He said Gilligan's what? Oh, Vinny, drink. Everybody, take a drink for Vinny. Oh, Mazzy, thank you so much. Thank Cashews you. Cashews fruit. I just <laughs> looked it up. So good on that person. Yay." I, my mind is blown. Let me just tell you. I didn't know the cashew How was a did I not know that? I don't know because you're not a botanist. Thank you, Mazzy. That is so Thank nice. Thank you so much. Hatchet. That's a good one. Okay, here we go. Here okay. we go again. All right. J. Toys. Toys with J. J as in Jack Benimble. Benimble? B. Jack Benimble. Don't tell anybody I said that. Oh my it God, just came funny. out. You Jack like Benimble. Jack. <laughs> it's toys with a J. Hey, Kelly Blanchard. I didn't know you were on here either. Welcome, Kelly. People are leaving. People are over this. Jack in the box. They, they left a little bit and came back just to make sure that we weren't doing something good. And now we're leaving again. That's okay. That's okay. We'll have all the fun people left. Mm. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Jeng oh, Jenga. Jenga. Yes. Juggling. Jax. Jiggly poop. <laughs> Carrie, what the hell what is, is a jiggly that? poop? I think, she's, I think she made that up. Jumanji. Where's my mom? Jumanji's good. Jumanji. Good answer. I love that answer. Jumping beans. Did you ever play with those? Jumping beans? Lynn and I must be the same age. I don't know what is a jumping bean. What is that? Well, <laughs> well, they would, I think it's kind of gross. They would come in this little clear box, these little, I think they call them Mexican jumping beans or something like that. But I think there was some sort of little worm or something in those. And it made the beans jump around. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. I don't like that. Oh, it's a Pokemon. Jigglypoo. Look what Southern Mermaid said about you. You. Me? <laughs> she said that about you. You're, that, make, you're making a mockery of this show. Yo, know, we didn't even. We didn't even take a drink till we started. Got those in Mexico. <laughs> Jumpaline. Somebody said. 
You, they're trying to make us think we're drunk. They said jumpaline. No, uh-uh. <laughs> What's a jumpaline? I don't know. Let's go again. Okay. Here we go again. Oh, jigsaw puzzle. That's good. P, as in pepper. P. Okay, I've got one. Can I say it? No. What do you mean? I, I want. I okay, wanna, go ahead. I want to do this. P, as in pepper. And then the item is things people use to decorate their houses. Southern Mermaid and I are just like yeah. right there. I see that. <laughs> things people use to decorate their houses. <clears throat> what do you use to decorate with? Piano? Piano. Uh, pu pu Prixies. That's a good one. Diane, thank you. Laura worked all day. She deserves a few drinks. Thank That's you. right. Potty pillows. Poop paper. <laughs> What's that? Pink depression Poop. glass. Good one. Peacock feathers. That's a good one. Pussycats. Persian rugs. Paperweights. Parrots. That's a good one. Parrots. Oh, there's lots of peas. Parrots. Popcorn. Paintings. Pictures. Paperweights. Posies. Posies. Peonies. It's uh, hard. That word is hard for me to say. I love it. Some people say peonies. <laughs> really? I've never heard anybody say that. I think that's super southern. Peonies. Our fume bottles. That's Our a good one. Good one. How about um Hi Nikki? Hello. Y'all are way I probably need than I. I. Laura, Bitches here in the I don't know about that. Paperweights is a great one, yes. Photographs, yes. Photographs. That's a good one. Good answer. Paper mache, that's I'm a good bad one. At this game. I'm just like struggling. Pyrex, to... pretty Pyrex, that's a good one. We should move on to the saucy game. Nikki is mad at me. <laughs> I'm just like struggling to think of anything that starts with any letter, basically. I just think the saucy game is Nikki. easier. Nikki, easier. get your own YouTube channel. Ugh. We're playing categories, and in a few minutes, we'll play them saucy game. <laughs> okay, let's roll again. How many points does everybody have? Nobody Jamie, knows. Jamie says, I can't do this game. What, Jamie, what's wrong with this game? Oh, my brain is What mush. do you mean how many points does anybody... No, you didn't give anybody a, like a rule with points. I said, I said you get 10 points if you have an answer that doesn't match anybody else's. You never said that. I did say it. H. <laughs> Katie, Advantage and Vinyl. we got to play just for her. She says, I love this game. H as in, hey. Hey. 2,000. Tree is made. Has 2,000 points. <laughs> Okay. Somebody said okay, funny movies. Said, Think of a term. I'm oh, shoot. MB, you said peony correctly. Yes. Yes. Funny movies with an H. Funny movies. H. Go back and find Zeno. What Hangover. did he say? Hangover. Yes. Oh, Hangover is a good one. Oh, Shars Nest said Hang a Happy Gilmore. Right when you said that. Harry and the Hendersons. <gasps> good one. Oh, Zeno says George is here playing with me. George, George is back. <laughs> George, I know you didn't get that video that I sent you that was like a million minutes long. Because I did not you have a picture. You sent George a video? Yes, because I was trying to send George a picture of these lamps that mom got in her mystery box, you know, estate. Mm -hmm. They're lucite. Oh. Mary Beth, they're lucite. They have lucite finials. And then the bases are loose. I mean, the what do you call the middle part of a lamp, George and Zeno? The middle. The top shape. I would say the shaft. The middle. You guys would take that the wrong way. <laughs> Laura, we but haven't the, gotten to the saucy part of the show yet. But the base, and then the base is cut glass. They're so pretty. Here's anyway, some. George, you've got to see these lamps. Harper Valley PTA. Hunger Games. Hot Tub Time Machine. My grandmother used to make me sing Harper Valley PTA. 
What was the cat? What was the category? Will was you it sing songs? it right now? I wish I could because it's so funny. Do you know that song? You don't? Homeward Bound. Harry Potter. Are those funny though? Oh, is it? It's funny movies. Funny movies. Oh yeah, Harper Valley PTA. I guess was a movie too. I never saw that movie. Hoosiers, that's a good answer. Half baked, that's a good answer. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I loved that movie when I was a kid. Did you watch that movie? Mary Beth is yes. tanked. They think we're drunk. We're not. <laughs> we just have this much fun all the time. <laughs> Dixie, come here. I know, I just know the, cor the chorus part to Harper Valley PTA. The day my mama sucked it to the Harper Valley PTA. Wow. That's the chorus. <laughs> wow. Are you okay? Hot tub time machine. Halloween. Zeno, that doesn't count. Okay, let's go again. Harry Met Sally. No, it's when Harry Met Sally. <gasps> you, wow. can't, you can't use that for an H. You can't just Good like. Job, Laura. <laughs> you're being like a. You're being mean. <laughs> Was that mean? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go again. What just happened? Jamie, I don't know. I got H again. <laughs> That's not going to do. B. B as in bet your... Bet it. <laughs> bet your bottom dollar. Do it. Uh, do it. Your Aunt B. Do that. B. My little niece, Maggie. She calls me B, like Mary Beth, I guess. MB. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people call me MB. And so she says B. But she does this too. She gives me hand signals. <laughs> She'll go B. <laughs> She'll go like this. And it's then so with her cute. hands out. It's great. <laughs> I've got not not only do I have a fun nickname, B, I've got hand signals too. That's great. It's great. I can't believe what I just say. You the, sang the chorus star for Melly What was the what was the <laughs> question? Oh my God. I said B, but what did I say? You didn't say anything. You just said B. Yeah, we got no. I made you go off track. Let's go. Things that are wet. Oh, my God. <laughs> Things that are wet with a B. <laughs> uh, Danny says, I'm never going to get my invoices out, LOL. <laughs> Who said that, Danny? Danny. Oh, somebody's new. Hi, new oh person. My God. I'm sorry. Boogers. Jamie, you get like a hundred points for boogers. Lea, I'm sorry. This is your first impression of us, but we're mutt. Somebody said mutt. Laura. <laughs> Lea, we're just having a good time. Um, I'm sorry if this is your first impression, but we're we're worth it. So go ahead and subscribe while you're here. It's a lot of fun. We promise. Beluga whale. Oh, that's a good one. Good answer. Somebody has. Somebody said bark. I started to say somebody's got Nikki just like where she can't even. <laughs> She's laughing so much she can't get Back together. Back to Birkenstock basements. The I only, don't know what you're drinking. The only acceptable answer oh, is burritos. DC, look. Come here. Get up here. here. She'll get up here with me. Come here. Say oh, hi to everybody. She's going to bump her head. Where'd Booze. Go? Beach. Ooh, backwash. That's gross. Ooh. Oh, the door said that. Dixie let herself in. <laughs> Basement. That's a good one. Bugs. Bridges. Bay of Bengal. Oh, that's fancy. Wow. Bad <laughs> Beavers. Oh my gosh, I saw a TikTok the other day with a little baby beaver. It's so cute. That's adorable. Can you get that out and show it to everybody? What was the question? <laughs> Beagle drool. Oh, oh, Dixie. Basins. That's a good one. Bananas. Are bananas wet? <laughs> Bathing suit. That's a good one. My phone isn't working. Okay. We'll Welcome, show Ellie. We'll, we'll, we'll show that next time. Wait, it might be working. Is You think it's Ellie? 
Ellie, how do you pronounce your name? Is it Eli? Because there's only oh. one L. I think that's... Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong before. Beer, bourbon, Bailey's. Those are all good. Who did that little Bar thing go? It disappeared. It did. Boobaroo. <laughs> Okay, let's think of another. Okay, okay, let's go again. Let's go one more. Here we go. One more? Is it over after this? Well, I don't know. Are we switching games? Then the saucy game. Okay, Nikki is like dying to go to the saucy <laughs> game. So if you're not into saucy things, this is your last roll. God, you're such a prude. It's not that saucy. I'm not a prude. I just don't want to inflict saucy things on people who aren't into saucy <laughs> things. Ten-year-olds are watching your show. I don't know. I'm just trying to be polite. Yeah. Nikki. Okay, here we go. Oh, as in, oh my gosh, Nikki is mean. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Oh, how about words with double letters? Words, oh my gosh, with an O? That start with an O or is O the double letter? Do a different category. Okay. Do a different category. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Things that are bright. Things that are bright with an O. O is hard. O is hard. Of course, I haven't thought of anything yet. Things that are bright with an O. Uh, Oreos. Oranges. Oh, that has the bright Oreos now. Orange vases. Good Very one. Good. Very nice. Origami, oil lamp. Opal, uh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Orion, outside, outside. Catherine Young, that's a fantastic answer. What a great answer. That's really deep. <laughs> I'm feeling that answer. <laughs> Me too, I like that one. Orbit, Orion. Oh, that's a good Opal. one. How, how do you guys come up with those so quick? I'm, I can't even think of one word that starts with O. Opalescent class. Nice. Ovaries. Owl eyes. Otagiri. I'm seeing orgasm. In I'm, there. Oh, how do we forget oh, orgasm? <laughs> Are they bright? Opera music. Outside, though. I know, right? It's a great freaking answer. It's so good. <sighs> Nikki's going to have a panic attack if I don't go to the saucy game. <laughs> okay. It's almost 15 till 11, so we're going to switch over to the saucy game. Look, it's not that saucy. It's not that saucy. It's not that saucy. Okay, so we're going to play things, and it's the adult version. We're all adults here, right? So it's things. So I'm going to give you a, a thing, and then you're going to give me an answer, right? Right. Is that how we're going to play? That's it. This is the saucy part of the program. Zeno, here's your chance. Here's your chance. Zeno, this is all because of you. Because last week, you told us that we were too vanilla. And this is because you called us out for being vanilla. Hang yes. On. And the answer is yes. Anytime that you put me in the body of Kate Blanchett is a good thing. When, when was this? That was earlier today. She also did a video of you and a video of Vicky. Oh. They all happened earlier today. <gasps> Mine happened to be in Kate Blanchett's body, and I'm not. In what movie? Avengers. I don't know. One of the Avengers movies, but I'm not complaining. Kate Blanchett was in the Avengers movie? Yeah. She's okay. like Thor and Loki's sister. What? Wow. Who yeah. was I? I don't know. I don't know who you were. You were really cute and sweet looking. Oh, that's oh. nice. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. What? What's funny? Uh, they're 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 all laughing at Zeno. They're all they're yelling for Zeno to join us for the saucy portion gotcha. of the program. Okay, so here's the first one. Here we go. It's saucy time. If you're not into it, I'm sorry, and I love you. <laughs> and I'll see you next week. If you're not into it, put your vanilla answer. It's okay. Put your vanilla answer. That's fine. <laughs> Things you wish worked by remote control. Things you wish worked by remote control. So I say just show it to you. Yeah, I can Some show people it. like, you know, you're like that obnoxious friend that has to read the card for themselves. What have does you, that mean? Have you ever been that person? What? 
I said, some people out there might be that person. They like to read it for themselves. Yeah. Don't you think that's obnoxious? You know, it's like your turn to read things you wish were by remote control. And you've always got a person in the room that says, let me see that. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I'm seeing husbands. I'm seeing <laughs> men. Um, they, some of the, okay. Some of these, I can't, I'm just, I'm just going to do that real fast. Oh, tongues. That's an interesting answer. Katie. <laughs> what? Did, oh, yeah. This is saucy. It, well, well, what's your answer, Z? Z, no, we're doing our best. This is for We're you. trying. Okay. Carrie says, honestly, my washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Zena, so Zena, what's your answer? I mean, I think that's a cop out to just like, you know, poop on everybody else's answer. Zena's like, is this really saucy? Is this is all you it? got, is girl? This saucy? Zeno, come over here and we'll figure something else out. We'll do something else that's more fun. <clears throat> Why is she is better than this? I might spit out what I got. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, here we go. Things you should not exaggerate. <laughs> Things you shouldn't exaggerate. <laughs> Good night, Sandy. Good night, Sandy. Danny, I would take the washing machine. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is really oh. taking a turn. They've taken it seriously with the saucy. Of course they have. Zeno has really ramped them up. A little bit. Of course of, he has. Yes, of course he did. How do you like this, Zeno? <laughs> Catherine Young. <laughs> I'm seeing that answer several times. I hope my mom went ahead and went to bed. <laughs> I hope my mom isn't just didn't it even. <laughs> Jamie with the dicks again. <laughs> Bra size, size matters, tolerance. Oh, so funny. Jamie is going to say dicks no matter what the question is. <laughs> is basically what's happening here. Yeah, if it's saucy, that's the answer. <laughs> Danny needs another drink. Go pour it, Danny. There's all the time in the world for shipping. Who cares about shipping? <laughs> and Mazzy said, I hope they're playing. <laughs> Zeno, you know, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. All of you collectors out there, all of us who are collecting stuff, what are things you should not collect? <laughs> things you shouldn't collect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you think we should not collect? Um... <laughs> Jamie, come on. I think Jamie, I think Jamie, I think that we need to hang out like now, like immediately, like any minute now. I was just saying that earlier to Nikki. I was like, can you like not even wait to hang out with Jamie and Carrie at the same time? That's what I told Nikki. And she was like, oh my gosh, right? It's a corporate picnic. <laughs> what do they call those rooms where you go get drunk before you go to the conference? I don't know. Like the, um, what kind of conferences do you go to? Jesus, Laura. <laughs> well, you know, like you, like people sponsor rooms and they have drinks and stuff in there. What kind of conferences do you go to? Is this porn? Is this a banking no. conference? No. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Hospitality rooms, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Is that <in> quotes? <laughs> oh, Hospitality room. Pre-game? Happy hour? <laughs> Soak room? Yeah, all conferences have that. See? 
Carrie's like, a swingers party? <laughs> Somebody said, wow, the niche lady. What did she say? <laughs> God. Oh, that's kind of what I thought of. Oh, first, Danny. I just didn't say it out loud. <laughs> Please, this is, those are swingers parties, Laura. Somebody said fat for five something. What was that? <laughs> Oh, Fat River 5 Conference 2022. <laughs> oh. Southern Mermaid, she's really trying to, you know, yank my chain tonight. Right? She? She's got your number. She says I'm drunk. She says I'm, aren't you? Dirty? Naughty? <laughs> Naughty? Things a waiter should not do. Mm. Things a waiter shouldn't do. Take their nose. Talk to me when I'm not ready. <laughs> Or talk to you too much. Or sit down at your table. Oh my god, <laughs> sit down at the table. Oh my god. When when <laughs> so when Nikki and I and Laura go to dinner and then there's like the one extra seat that's open and the waiter sits down and they're like, How are you gals doing tonight? I'm just like <laughs> not today, oh. sir. Just like, no, don't I don't want you to sit with me. <laughs> Ooh, sugar bridges. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Here's an even better one. <laughs> oh, they're just messing Yes, up. MB. Hate it. I'm telling you, I don't like it. They do it at Outback all the time. They just sit down with you. They're like, oh, I hate it. So, that. how do you want your dinner? How do you want your steak cooked? Okay. You want what do you what do you want your sides to be? <laughs> or or you know, what are you ladies doing tonight? Well, it's none of your business, sir. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So much Nikki's like, isn't this just so much more fun? I was trying to be inclusive of all of my audience. Yes, so we lost a few. We I mean. lost some people. <laughs> some people were like, see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Peace out. Whatever. I'm just trying to oh, be inclusive. Good too. Let's go. I like all of the it audience. <laughs> don't don't elbow me. What do you want? <laughs> the next question. Oh, this is a bad one. <laughs> Things you shouldn't do on your desk. Things oh. you shouldn't do on your desk. Of course, the vanilla answer is sleep, right? Right. Shouldn't sleep on your desk. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't eat on your desk. I eat at my desk. I know, but you shouldn't. But, yeah. <laughs> Katie just went right for it. Katie just went right for it. Katie's just ready. She's going to knock it out of the park every time. Katie. She's going straight to the saucy. Yes. Katie is not having No it. innuendo. No hinting. Nope. Yeah, just straight up out of there. Karen Bradford. Hi, Karen. Karen. Hi, Catherine Fell. Look what Karen Radford said. What should you not do on your desk? Oh, Karen. <laughs> A good one, Karen. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> your boss. <laughs> oh, that's body funny. painting. That's a good one. Spill the tea. That's a good one. Naked sushi, like in Six in the City. Right. That's what Jamie was doing last week. With her I know, sushi Jamie. Debacle. Jamie tried to tell us that she's having some sort of sushi debacle. We know. We know. We know about the sushi debacle. We know what you were doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Katie at Vintage and Vinyl says, I play to win. <laughs> I, I can see that. Cheers, Katie. Laura's and Catherine Phil, hello, you guys. What game is this? It oh. is the game called here. Hand me the Catherine. Oh wait, thing. Catherine fell. Well, you've joined us in a rousing game of things, but this is the adult version. So this is a little. I was bit, gonna say, hand me that. This she probably she probably really means it. She probably really wants to know what the game is. This is the adult version, so it's a little naughty. It's a little saucier than usual. So we've given everybody fair warning that this is a little bit saucier than normal. 
Do you get your card games at thrift stores? Yes. It's this, one of my favorite things to look for. This one, however, belongs to me. I got this out of my uh, cabinet earlier. Yes. Because a lot of you guys were asking, Zeno specifically, was asking for something not so vanilla. So that's what I was looking for. <laughs> also, um, let me just right now, in the comments when the video's over, Auntie Christy, can you click on Auntie Christy? No, I want you to read that first. Oh, as naughty. Okay, where's Don't Auntie Christy? Don't call me naughty. This one? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I just want you to, everybody to see her. She comes up with the greatest ideas. And, you know, we always are trying to think of something you guys can comment on after the oh, live yeah. because the comments help us a lot. But if you don't have any idea, you feel funny just going and commenting hi or whatever. Right. So Auntie Christy has come up with naming the live shows like you name Friends right. episodes. So like this would be the one with the saucy things game. Or yeah. Whatever. Or the one with the tea berry whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So after after the video posts, go back in the comments and come and up name with, the episode. Yeah, name the episode like friend style. The one with the whatever. The <laughs> Great one idea. The one where Katie was naughty. Yeah. The one where Katie at Vintage and Vinyl just let her hair down. Took her hat off. <laughs> Things you shouldn't write on a Valentine's <laughs> what card. Was, what? what did Jamie put? Oh my gosh, Jamie. <laughs> Go back and comment it. That's your business. It's such a cute idea. I absolutely love it. <laughs> the one with drunk Laura, Lisa Day says. Oh, my God. Lisa. Lisa, probably Laura wants you to drink after that. Kathy, the middle of you. <laughs> things you shouldn't write on a Valentine's card. <laughs> what? I just think that's funny. She said, I love you. <laughs> things you should not write on a Valentine's card. You suck. I want a divorce. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Maybe another time. Rest in We're peace. We're breaking up. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> that's a good one, Catherine. Oh. I slept with your best friend. Yeah, that's How bad. Much? Oh, oh, Jean Marie. Oh, I like it when Je I like better it. luck next. Year. I like it when Jeannie Marie gets saucy because she has like a three year old picture on for her logo. I have to pay. Can you handle this for a second? Oh, no. Yeah, this is not my no. Here's your next this question. Is, this is not my jam. I have to, I'll be right back. It's not you, it's me. I like that. Oh, that's so funny. You guys could go on all night on this one. Okay, I've got I got the next one for you guys. Okay, I'm going to challenge you. This is going to be hard, but I know you guys can make it saucy. Things that make ballet more exciting. <laughs> Speaking of that, have you seen that saucy little ballet show on Netflix? I forgot the exact name of it, but man. Things that make ballet more exciting. Nikki. <laughs> Nikki said cod pieces. Oh, Zeno. You guys aren't having any trouble with that at all. Danny just can't. <laughs> Oh, you guys just really aren't having any trouble whatsoever with this. What was the question? Well, I thought I would give them a challenge. Things that make ballet more exciting. <laughs> but they're not having any trouble at all with it. What was the, what's the thing called? What is it called? The cod piece. Cod piece. That's what Nikki's already put that in there. Yeah. You missed it. <laughs> what did Zeno say? I clicked on it. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. I lost it. That's a lot of answers. That's a lot of answers. <laughs> you guys have lots of ideas. <laughs> I mean, I'm not conflicted. 
I'm conflicted because I mean I'm not a prude. I'm not a prudish person. But my 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 family does watch this sometimes. I don't know if they're on here right now. And Laura's family definitely watches this sometimes. So I don't know how. I got I got kids watching. Moms watch. I don't know how much I can let my hair down exactly. But you know, I'm having a great time. You guys <laughs> knock yourselves out over there in the comments. <laughs> my jaws are hurting. Oh. I mean, they really actually hurt. <laughs> well, wasn't that happened the other night on Pamela's channel <gasps> when they were talking about something that was really funny? Yeah. They were talking about piercings. Is that what happened? Zeno. Zeno was on there. Hey, Zeno. Do you rem remember when Miss Pamela's sale, pop-up jewelry sale went like off the rails? <laughs> she started talking about... Miss Pamela, are you on here still? I think Kelly might. She be. might have gone to bed. Yeah, but Kelly might be. Her daughter Kelly might. Yeah, oh, Angela remembers. Yes, the gym. Gym dog. Yes, because Angela got corrected. Angela said a hot dog, and Miss Pamela said, "Honey, no, we don't call it a hot dog. It's a gym dog." And she said, "We well, say it was a gym dog and a monkey." <laughs> Hi, Trace Sight Picker Mom. This has really <laughs> gone downhill. You're welcome. Oh, thanks, Nikki. <laughs> Jim Dog Piercings. Yes, that's what it was. Diane says she was there. Zeno, I missed that. Are you sure? I could have sworn you were on there, Zeno. Maybe that was hilarious. Maybe it was Nate I was talking to on there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Swilly Piercing. <laughs> Let your hair back down in me. It's too hot in here. Play with can't. the neighbor's gym dog. <laughs> you know, go back on Miss Pamela's sale and comment the one with the gym dog and the monkey. <laughs> this is the show. This is the type of situation where I'm not sure how me I can be. I'm trying to be professional, Mary Beth, and I'm really fighting it. I just, oh. I just don't know. I'm, oh, that's I'm, so funny. I'm doing my best. It was for, so epic. For everybody who's still out there who's like hanging on by a thread, I'm here for you. I'm I'm doing my best professional Mary Beth for you. Oh. Things you should not hold while you're riding a bike. <laughs> Things you shouldn't <laughs> hold while riding a bike. I dropped the car. So the one where Mary Beth tried to be professional <laughs> my job is one that's okay when when i first got my current job in public relations this mind you wait what? i'm telling a story don't interrupt me ever again <laughs> when i first got my current job in public relations my stepmom was like you really in public relations <gasps> I was like, yes, yes, that's what I'm doing now. And she was like, well, good luck with that. It's worked out so far. <laughs> I'm just holding this up just so everybody remembers what these people are answering. You people. Oh, what does that say? You're asking a new question? The first no, one wasn't over. That's it. Oh, that's what they're answering. I'm sorry. just reminding everybody of what they're answering. So funny. Diamonds, your taxes. Do you mean your past job? Right. Oh. Well, hopefully my boss isn't on here, but your neighbor, TNT. <laughs> Murano glass. Capo de Monte. That's funny. MB tells people to stop interrupting her. That's her relation with the public. That's <laughs> true. A monkey. Laura's favorite thing to do is interrupt me. Oh, she is really on me tonight, you guys. Good grief. Zeno, that Empoli thing that you showed right? earlier. <laughs> Amen to that, man. I'm like, I love it. I like when I like when all the answers are saucy except for one or two, and then that, that makes those really good. Yeah. <laughs> Your swung vase. <laughs> Yeah, I probably shouldn't go pick that up right now. 
Ah, oh, okay, everybody. Do you find a good one? Yeah, they're all good. Things that happen once in a blue moon. Hmm. Let's change the light color. Tri-State Picker Mom. She's just showing up. Gorgeous jar. Thanks, Tri-State Picker Mom. Zeno. Yeah, Zeno, you scared me. You spilled in pulley with an eye, and I was like, ooh, have it's I been... Purple. Is it purple? Yeah. 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 My sex life. Sammy. What was the question? Things that happen once in a blue moon. Sammy at Sammy's Unique Finds. You, she won the last trivia, and she got. We sent her the little bluebird. Mm -hmm. She sent her. We sent her her own um, Fat Bird Finds bluebird, which it was so cute. It was so cute. She little showed bluebird of happiness. She showed it on Instagram. It was adorable. It's just purple. What? It's not rotating. It's supposed to be rotating. Are you it's sure? Just are you sure? I think no. it's rotating. I think it's a date. My ex tells the truth. <laughs> Laura gets through a whole show without getting in trouble. Oh. Isn't that the truth? That's not, maybe that's never happened. I see Christy winning a mystery box. <laughs> I think it's rotating now. Yeah. Sorry. You're trying to get your TikTok lighting right back there. I'm, it, it's try, it's, it should be rotating now. Nikki was yelling. Kelly. The, oh, Kelly is on here. She's like, quote, it's supposed to be rotating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kelly. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Zeno, that's a good one. Wait, 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 wait. Once in a blue moon. <laughs> I like Dr. Lori, except she scares me. My mom loves Dr. Lori. She's so scary, though. <laughs> okay. Things you just can't believe. <laughs> Things you just can't believe. That Zeno is nice. I'm just kidding. Oh. Zeno actually is super nice. We've had the pleasure of um, meeting Zeno. Zeno and George... I know you're watching because you, I know you can't resist. You you can't turn it off. I know. <laughs> so the minute that you guys get all vaccined up, you're coming over to do the flipping and sipping in person. Yeah, we need to have Zeno and George right here with us. We've had our first dose. We'll have our second dose. Is it next Friday? Oh, wait, from today? Mine is April the 5th for my second dose. Okay. Well, pretty soon. So... <laughs> Things you just can't believe. Somebody said Dr. Lori. I'm just <laughs> a Danny. Nikki, what did you say? Did you Somebody say saying Dr. good. Melania is married to Donald. <laughs> Nikki, we can't. We can't get into that. I mean, really? Can you believe that? Yeah, but we, this isn't a political show. It's not uh, political. Yeah, no. It's not political. A pig orgasm lasts a half hour. <laughs> We're going to move on to that one. Oh, that's funny. Things you can't believe. What a man thinks I eat this is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't believe that we've retained 160 of you people, actually. Oh, this is bad. Things people do when no one is looking. Things I'm just laughing because Kelly played and said, damn, I should have been a pig. <laughs> Things people do when no one is looking. Oh, read Laura's comment. Somebody said in big, bold read letters. Read Laura's comment. And Kara, that's amazing. I like when you guys put things that in all That I catch you as a fruit. <laughs> right? I still don't understand that. This is keeping me entertained as I work on merch. Glad, glad of that Angela Marksberry. Angela, when you get your um, mystery box, it's green themed. Yeah, it's green themed. Sorry that it's not there in time for St. Patrick's Day, but it's not St. Patrick's Day stuff. It was just in honor of St. Patrick's Day. It's just green. True. 
Melissa Lynn Colbert. What did you say? Oh my gosh. Things people do when no one is looking. Look what oh. she wrote. You have a beaver? I don't know how to. <laughs> my finger. This is really oh digress. This is really, really de escalated fast. <laughs> I can't see. Oh, I love that one. Um, somebody said eat a whole pizza by themselves. I love that one. That's hilarious. <laughs> Vinny is like, oh my God, Laura. <laughs> Everybody's like, all these faces. Oh, so funny. <laughs> Katie, I'm glad you're having a good time. <laughs> oh, you gotta let your hair down every once in a while. Look at that comment. <laughs> yeah, we really did. The electric, eclectic, <laughs> e e oh God, I'm, I, I eclectic. Up. Thank you, eclectic, mm -hmm. director. Yeah, I'm just good. I we we did. We asked for it. Nikki, this is your fault and Zeno. Vinny, I, I have tears you. rolling down my face. Now that is something. If you get Vinny to say that. I blame you and Zeno. We're gonna have like 20 thumbs downs. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I probably would thumbs down this. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. <laughs> Laura Laura's I'm funny. Just kidding. When when the videos are over, I'm always like, oh no, we got like four thumbs downs, and she's like, who cares? I'm like, yeah, but somebody doesn't like us. But People she's are like, just who mean. cares? We're gonna get like twenty. <laughs> I've learned that at the bank. I think I get the most mad when people get get belligerent for no reason. Like I'm so understanding, you know. People. If, when they get overcharged or somebody makes a mistake on their account, yeah, it's a mistake, but it's their money. So I understand getting upset. But when you yell at me because I ask if you need a pen, I mean, God. Nikki, Zeno says that the Nikki and Zeno channel would last about 10 minutes before getting banned. Too well, Nadal, this is the best game ever. But look. Don't don't click on it. Okay. Look at Lisa Day's comment underneath where you are. You don't want me to to click on no, it. No, no, no. I did. <laughs> I'll let you guys just you know enjoy that. <laughs> we should show what we found in our. Would you know where it is? Austin where Hall. is it? I'll, you, I'll go get it. Yeah, you'll get it. <laughs> Laura found something. Okay, so again, I, I know we said this earlier, but Michelle's we, gone already. Michelle's gone, so this is fine. We've got like um. <laughs> Seriously, the whole bedroom in there is full of stuff that we brought in from that auction. So there's just a ton of boxes, tons of stuff in there. And Laura picked up something. She was like, look, we need to send this to Michelle. So just wait for it. She's coming. <laughs> okay. So it's in a package and it's a back scratcher. But wait, it's like bedazzled. It's like got all these little rhinestones on it. It actually says on the package, bling back scratchers. We're like, we need to send this to Michelle. Seriously, she sends us Marco Polos, which are just like instant messages with video all the time. And she's like, hey, Marie Beth, what are you doing? And he goes, I, I predict this is a demonetized video. Yeah, we're probably going to get kicked <laughs> off. If, if, if not, I, I will be shocked. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we probably need to send this to Michelle. It's like a bedazzled <laughs> back scratcher. So what? I'm just laughing about it. It's just, that is just priceless. It's just hilarious. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so funny. But yeah. Well, there's that. I'm always like, Michelle, what are you doing? Why are you scratching your face while you're talking to me on the video? I wish I could find one. I would show it, but oh, let's I don't do that. Show you. No, no. Oh. I do not know you people, and I'm glad I got rebranded now. Okay, mm. good. That's good. You 
you it's okay. You can know us. We're fabric finds and we're ridiculous. <laughs> okay, things things you would wish for if you found a genie in a bottle. Things you wanna, that makes me want to sing again. You know the Christine Aguilera song. Things you would wish for if you found a genie in a bottle. Oh wait, you've got the voice. You sing that one. I'm a genie. <laughs> okay, so this is just an example of other. Liam Neeson. Just an example of other Empoli. So this actually has an Empoli sticker. This is like a genie bottle. I don't have the stopper. So the stopper would have been like a, you know, like a pointy stopper here. I don't have that. But this is another example of something that would be in Poli. So we talked about the uh, optic brandy snifter. And we talked about the candy dish with the lid, the green one over here. So this is an example of something else in Poli. Laura, well, I'm trying to like be professional. <laughs> How in the world is that possible at this moment? <laughs> Are you serious? Because have you seen Zeno's latest comment? No. If so, there's professionals out the window. <laughs> this one? Don't click on it. Don't click on it. <laughs> I'm not going to click on it. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Oh, oh so funny. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we, we're going to have to have, here's what's going to have to happen. What's going to happen? So George is back. Back in town. Yeah. The boys are Guess back. Guess who's back. The boys are back in back town. Back again. Shady's back. <laughs> so tell a friend. We're going to have to have regular flipping and sipping. Mm -hmm. Don't we usually have regular flipping yeah. and sipping? Yeah. And then we're going to have to do the lounge, the dance lounge with George and Zeno. And then after hours, flipping and sipping for the saucy stuff like this. You think? Yeah. Yes. Well, whatever you say goes. Okay. Because, I mean, you're in charge. <laughs> the Carrie, one more professional in B flew the coop. <laughs> that was pretty a poly bomb. <laughs> We've got it listed on eBay, but I don't know. I don't know, man. Laura, I'm just doing Isn't my, that a song by Thin Lizzy as well? I don't know. Probably. But I'm doing my best to be in a professional. And Laura is just throwing it out the window. Thin Lizzy. You got to bring me and Carrie in split screen for the after hour show. Yes. Who yeah, said that? Um, yes. So that's what we'll do. We'll do after hours and have guests. Carrie, are you in? Carrie, will you be on our show? Carrie, I need to know. Carrie. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here until Carrie answers. <laughs> We're only on a like 10 second lag. <laughs> She's like, oh man, I got a shower, man. <laughs> I washed my hair for you today. Auntie Christy, no one will be awake. It's not that late, Christy. Christy, you're on like the West Coast. Things that make you jump. What time is it for Christy? I don't know. I mean, what time is it here? I don't know. It's like 11. 11. It's 11.18. Christy, it's like 5.18 or something for you out there. <laughs> things that make you jump. What are things that make you jump? Crisscross. Crisscross. Did you say that or did no, you read it? somebody else said it. I, I, wish, I say, wish I could claim that one. I was going to say, if you came up with it. that, that was great. Benny said a hot a girl. A thousand points. A thousand points. A thousand for points for anybody who said crisscross. Lisa Day said it too. There was a couple of them. Zeno's comments. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh my God, you guys are so funny. Van Halen. That's my kind of answer. That's a 1984 answer right there. Is it? Yes. What's the best answer, Jamie? 
Uh, David Lee Roth, yes. Uh, yeah, that song was my senior year in high school, I guess. Wow. That's when that was popular. Zena with the Pointer Sisters. That's a good one, too. Things you would like to ask a psychic. What would you like to ask a psychic? Have you ever gone to a psychic? I haven't. Dixie, come here. Look. Do you know that? Look. Come here. Dixie, come here. Look. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. You. you can get up here. Come on. You're a good girl. Um. We had a lady in town that was a psychic, and she would do psychic readings for kids for oh, Halloween man. instead of trick-or-treating. That's weird. I was terrified. The kids, like, they were Like all, when you were a kid? No, when my kids were kids. They did psychic readings for Halloween? Yeah. You know how everybody all goes on that Jefferson Street for trick-or-treating? Or, trick or, or pre-COVID they did. Mm-hmm. Well, there's one lady that did psychic readings out of her home for people. For Halloween kids. But so at Halloween she would go sit out on the porch and she would do all their little their little palm readings. That's weird. <laughs> it was really weird. I was like, Oh God, what is she gonna say to these kids? I think she was okay. I think she said something nice. <laughs> I think I think she said something like, you know, you're gonna be a doctor, you're gonna be a vet or something, you know, whatever. Did you um ever go to a palm reader? No. I've gone Did to you? one. Yeah, I've gone to one. Twice. I would be terrified. When I was in college, I went to Miss Ann in Murray, Kentucky. What'd she tell you? Nikki, you're on camera. And then Nikki and I and our college friends, Nikki and I went to college together. Our college friends went to another palm reader, like in the recent future, like maybe a couple years ago. Yeah. I don't really remember that. I was going to say about Laura's person on Jefferson, who is supposedly very nice. She told me I was going to be a cashier. What? <laughs> she said, was she there when you were trick-or-treating as a kid? I was like maybe 17 or 18 years old. And she said, I see dollar signs and I hear bells, like cash register bells. And I think you're going to be a cashier, like at a retail store. But you work at a bank. I guess that I guess that's true. Oh, she knew. I, that's one way to look at it. Yeah. Nikki works at a bank. She was so mad at me though. She's like, "This is for kids," and I'm like, "I'm sorry." Yeah. What were you doing trick or treating as a 17 year old? I was like, "I'm sorry," and she said, "Well, you're gonna be like a cashier," and I'm like, "Okay, fine." But now, we're why were you trick or treating when you were 17? I thought it'd be fun. That's weird. <sighs> you gotta have fun, Mary Beth. <laughs> Well, good for you, though. You, Nikki works at a bank. Nikki's the corporate secretary. Oh, my God. How do you know that? <laughs> she said, oh, my God. What do you, how do you know that? How old is Nikki? She looks 17. Oh, my God. That's nice. That's really nice. She's like 87. I was born at 84. I don't know how old I am. I think, you're, I think you're 36. 36. Because I think I'm 37 these days. Yeah. Laura, how did you get all that drink? I'm out. Hmm. Well, you have to just, you know, get up and pour some more. <laughs> you got to tip your server. Will you get me some more? I don't do you need some That, more? just a little more. Are you going to be okay? Oh, yeah, I'm great. Because I'm not. You're never too old to trick or treat, says Katie. Mm, let's not read that one. That one's political. Okay, here we go. Things that require an assistant. Things that require an Carrie, assistant. You said you're, oh no, I'm older than Nikki and MB. You're not older than me. So, you know, you're in good company. Am I 37? I think that's right. I feel like COVID has like really like bamboozled me. I don't even know what's happening. I think I'm 37. Or am I 38? What I'm going to look it up. Things that require an assistant. Things that require Paying an assistant. with your wedding dress on, right? Yeah, I'm 37. I mean, that is absolutely the truth. That is so funny. <laughs> SBF shows. Yes, that's true. 
I feel like I've helped people in wedding dresses pee, but I don't even remember who that was. I mean, you can't do that by yourself. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. Listing. <laughs> Amen to that. No, no doubt. You know you've made the big time if you can hire somebody to do your listing for you. Hey, I'm just going to tell you. That's the crappy part. I don't know how people do this without a person. Like people who do live shows or talk, talk or live chats or whatever with just one person, that would be very difficult because I rely on Mara so much to, to like, so that we like bounce off of each other. You people who are out there doing it all by yourself, that's impressive to me because I, I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could do it all by myself because I would just be like, I, I would just be lost, I think. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Do I, you do you think I, you could do it all by yourself? No. Yeah. That made me sweat a little bit when you went to the bathroom. Oh. I was like, what? Danny, it takes practice. Danny's good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Angela, I'm just that great. That's true. Yeah. A lot of you guys are really good at it. I would need a partner too, maybe. Yeah. Man, find you a friend out there. Find you somebody and just do it. Just start making YouTube videos. It's fun. I love it. I didn't think I would love it. When you first told me that you wanted to start doing this, I was like, this is going to be awful. Nobody's going to watch us. <laughs> and now I'm really glad that we did it. It's really fun. Don't you think it's fun? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, Zeno. <laughs> what does he said now? Oh, Zeno, you're way too. I'm gonna do one. Okay, yeah. Hi, where'd you come from? Bathroom. Oh, things that would make work more exciting. Anything. Oh. Strippers. Nikki, go away. Strippers. You go away. You can't say that on this. Oh. Show. <laughs> Vinny said, uh, at Danny, I would die laughing if I had someone say stuff I couldn't say out loud. <laughs> I think that Jamie has said this every turn. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I mean, oh, somebody said that for five, y'all are almost at 3,000 subs. <gasps> are you serious? Really? How many? Does anybody know how many? I'm going to look it up. How about a bar? Vinny, what a great idea. A bar at work. What are you talking about? That's the answer to the question. Things that would make work more exciting. Vinny said a bar. That is a great answer. Yeah, we're getting there. Hey, seriously. No, wait. Just wait a second. I'm going to leave you again for just a minute. Oh, dear. What? Music. Yes. We've been playing around with that Tiger Lily. Music really does help a lot. An afternoon nap. That's a good one. Jamie's going to take all the credit. For what? For putting us over 3,000. Yes, it's all. She said, she said the, you know what, are putting us over 3,000. It's true. When we get to 3,000 subscribers, we're, oh, gonna, I forgot. we're giving this weird cat away. This guy. Misty at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter said she would pay a million dollars for him. A million dollars. I mean. So there's that. If you guys win him, she'll probably pay you a million dollars for him. Tell your friends because as soon as we get 3,000 subscribers, we're giving this little guy away. I mean, who doesn't want this ugly, crazy, weird cat? I think that he's ridiculously cute. Somebody said that cat is the epitome of tonight's game. LOL. What? Did, oh, everybody's laughing at Zeno again. What did he say? What did Zeno say again? There's no telling. I know that's what that's what Christy and then we're saying. <laughs> yeah, that would probably do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, if you want the cat, make sure you tell your friends because we're gonna give oh, the cat away. Oh yes, when we get to three thousand. Uh -huh. I was thinking about doing a giveaway for St. Patrick's Day, but there were a lot of people actually doing giveaways this week. Was there? Yeah, there were on Instagram. So I just kind of like held back. So I just thought I'd wait it out. Good idea. 
Thanks. <laughs> what? I don't know. Every time I pick one up, I think about what Jamie is going to answer. Well, you know what she's going to say. Go ahead. You know what she's going to say every time. <laughs> Chris. Dicks. Christy. Wait. <laughs> Oh, Zeno, no comment on the free cat giveaway. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be as, like, innocently nice and professional as possible to give a giveaway to our fans. And then Zeno has to make it really naughty. Danny, is this the funniest thing or what? Danny, this is hilarious. <laughs> Poor Danny. Danny's, you know putting out her videos, being all professional, giving good tips. I made $38 because Danny told me that my bowl was worth $38. And then she comes on here and we do this. <laughs> Although I think she's having fun. Okay, here's, here's this is a good one. Okay, you ready? ready? Okay, everybody, she said this is epic. Everybody, you know, use your best answer for this one. I think this this could be really good. Okay. Things you could use as an excuse on Judgment Day. Oh, my gosh. And we all are going to need, you know, one of those. Zeno made me do it. <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> That's the best one. Zeno made me do it. How did you come up with that so fast? Well, I don't know. It just was the first thing I thought of. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, look. Did he say that it was the same time as you? Probably, because we're on a delay. That's funny. Zeno, did you say that after you heard her or before? <laughs> Diane said and B made me do it. That's funny. Oh, that's so funny. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Zeno made me do it as the best. It's so funny. Let's do a couple more. It wasn't me. Somebody said it wasn't me. What was that song? That, it wasn't me. That song cracks me up. Na, 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 na. Uh -huh. It wasn't me. Na, 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 na. Wasn't me. <laughs> okay, you ready? Are you okay? <laughs> no, I need a minute. I think that is so funny. That song. I haven't thought about that in so long. <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> Me. Na, 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 na. <laughs> oh, I wish I could remember the words to that song. It's so funny. Laura is so tickled. That I love that song. What are things that you won't find in the dictionary? <laughs> things that you won't. Oh, somebody's telling me the words. What uh, banging on the sofa? <laughs> yeah. What are things you won't find in the dictionary? Oh, me. <laughs> mm. My ugly face. Oh, Vinny, fat bird finds. Vinny, drink. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't. This, this is AKA. What Mazzy's just said. I'm going to sneeze. Mazzy, is that just a YouTube thing or is that a nickname? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Well, I don't know what you're just talking about. Ask Mazzy if that's a nickname or... Mazzy, is that a, a YouTube name or is that your real name? Did that unfold? Yeah, it's like long. Oh, that's what she said. I can't believe it. It's like a real one. I wondered why it was so short for a back scratcher. Well, you got to pull it off. You know, you got to pull it out. <laughs> that's what she said. Laura just said that's what she said. Laura, your mom's probably still on here. Oh, uh, I doubt it. Let's go to bed.
Are you tired? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you drinking? What did you go over there and do? Did you go over there and eat a snack? I want I a eat, snack. I had a chip. I've been eating chips and dip for a while. Not your face. Gino said, Nikki, it's because it's not so scratching bags. <laughs> yeah. How does that make you feel? I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very clever tonight. It's been a really long day, but this is entertaining. That's kind of how I feel. I we can entertain you, but you just messed up my hair. We're going to do two more. Okay. Two more. Are you ready? I'm going to pull it together for the last two. Okay, here we go. Read Kelly Blanchard's comments. Wait. Where? we got to trust Vinny. Oh, Kelly, I can't wait to talk to you about that tomorrow night. <laughs> Things that confirm. <gasps> oh, no, I've got the hiccups. That your life is going downhill. Mm. Oh, no, I've got the hiccups. Oh, no, I hate hiccups. That one's depressing. I think you should do a different one. These hiccups. <laughs> Boom! Laura, are you scared <laughs> Ducey? Did I scare them out of you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think you did it. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie, for that. Oh, Jamie. When you get the hiccups. <laughs> I mean, these are great answers. These are great answers. We ask for this. We ask for this ourselves. This is Somebody all. said watching Fat Burns. Yeah, this is all our fault. <laughs> I understand. Oh. <laughs> I've got one more. Okay. We've got one more question. Okay. Are you guys ready? One more question. Make it a good one. Things that shouldn't be lumpy. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> things that should not oh. be lumpy. <laughs> what should not be lumpy? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> and, you know, we're, we're just not disappointing. Everybody's saying the same thing, basically. <laughs> yeah. It's oh. basically the same answer. Your baby. Gym dogs. <laughs> oh. We asked for it. Yeah, we did. Didn't we? Yes, we, we did. We said this was going to get saucy. Mashed potatoes. I think that's funny. <laughs> this would be more fun for me if I were in the chat versus my face on camera. Right? Scariest. It's like I'm so I'm hot. I'm flushed. Laura's so flushed. <laughs> My jaws hurt. Laura is like super embarrassed. I mean, this is like way out of my comfort zone. Are you really uncomfortable? A little bit. Laura is super uncomfortable. I like everybody though, so Zeno, what <laughs> the hell? What the hell, Zeno? Now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> We wait. Andrew yeah. Christie said we burned a lot of calories by <laughs> laughing tonight. True, this is true. Oh, this is true. Oh my gosh, that's all I have. <sighs> if you were a winner tonight, make sure that you send us an email. Fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Are you really gonna do this? Yeah, <laughs> we would love to know if you were a winner. We need to have your name. Email address, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know what we need from you. That's fine. If you saw anything in any of our halls that you're interested in, 
send us an email. Again, the tea berry, I'm not sure if we're interested in selling that yet, but we will let you know. Yeah, I think we haven't educated ourselves quite to the max on the tea berry yet, but I'm super excited about it. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, my jaws. They hurt. I bet they do. Everybody that's here, there's 130 of you. Please, because I think it's the best idea ever. Please go back to the comments and name this video. Yes, after the, the video one post. Where Laura's jaw hurts. So, like, not right now, but after we end this video and when the video posts, go back and name the video in the comments. Oops. Nettie, the answer to that is yes. <laughs> Indeed. That, that's what's happening. Yes, she's staying here. Don't worry. <laughs> I will not let her drive home. I promise. She's staying here. She's actually brought her little overnight bag. She's staying here. Yes. We all get five swan bases for sticking it out to the end. Amen for that. Five at five. All through Jamie's inappropriate comments. <laughs> P.S. I cannot wait to hang out with Jamie and <laughs> Carrie at the same time. One day in the future, it's happening. It's going to be awesome. Southern Mermaid. Nikki's like, 22. Corporate retreat. Southern Mermaid says, name the video, question mark. Yes, briefly. Name the video in the comments, just like they do the Friends videos. The one where dot, dot, dot. Or the one with the blank. So after <laughs> the video post, go back and leave us a comment. The one where Laura was embarrassed. Or the one where we played inappropriate games. <laughs> Whatever. So the one where Fat Bird finds went off the rails. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you give us a like. Uh, Guys, if you haven't liked this video, please do that because the dislikes make me sad and the dislikes make Laura laugh. Oh. Remember, <laughs> Laura discovers fevers. Yeah. Like that. That's oh. an example. When we out saucy Vinny, you know that it's really been a, a night. It's true. <laughs> Nikki dropped her phone. I don't know if any of you guys heard that loud commotion, but Nikki dropped her phone. Oh, thanks, everybody. This guys, has been too much fun. The one where Laura has to stay the night. <laughs> That's true. Don't worry. I'm not going to let her drive anywhere. She's staying put. Give us a like, guys. Make sure you comment after the video posts. That helps us out. Awesome things happen. <laughs> Make sure that you're subscribed. If you're in the comments still, if you're still here and you're not subscribed, you're a part of the problem. <laughs> if you're subscribed, make sure you hit the bell. Yeah, hit the bell. We're going to have really good videos coming up. All that auction stuff that we've got in there is super good stuff, and you're going to be really stoked to see it. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for sticking it out to the end. It was too much fun. That's right. All right, guys, make sure you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. <laughs> Love you, too. Good night.